Uh, plunging a rib into Elio fails. He rejects the offer and Oz consumes him. Right. We covered that. Orin gets Deus Ex Machida by Morinin. He's in a glass tube. Oh, yeah. Orin's back. Yep. Tamak like wakes Orin. up while Axe plays with the door. Orin phases into our wall. Um... I don't think that's what I happened. Think that, I think that's where it is. It's not uh, the right one. <coughs> Whatever. I'm reading the notes. We pursue Abder. Elevator mayhem. Eventually, to the bridge. Abder mixes fluids. Oh, God. And the great eye stirs. Oh, yeah. Tamat like rips Ryan. Abder free, leaving behind significant wounds. Turbo lift bumper cars. Wait, wait, wait. You forgot the part where Brian Temujin decided that since the fluids are mixing, he's going to start Eldritch blasting everything. Yep, that happened. And they weren't glass tubes, by the way. Uh uh-uh. uh. I went back and re listened. <laughs> <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh, you don't go over those parts, I said. <laughs> Mistakes were made. We God's were world awoken. They say right. we save Orin after the bumper cars. Temujin. Epic saves Abder from the tentacles. That's true. Armload of stuff from the locker. Grab uniforms with tools. Temporal disturbances. They pushed the waking dreamer into our dimension? Question mark? Swim to control room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because there's another dimension. There's another dimension that's like starting some to... weird fucked up poetry. I feel like we should be doing this afterwards. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> so you want to do it vindictively. <laughs> oh, sorry. <sighs> it's just I missed you guys. Yeah, man. So, yeah. So, so that's the framework going, someone else can yeah, fill yeah, in. Yeah, we're, we're just going in and out of, like, this. the tower's going in and out of our... our Either time or reality. reality. Yeah. Yeah. And we're viewing another reality at the same time when we're going into our little sleep states, or I don't know what they're fucking called. Well, the called. tower was phasing, and when we were in the vicinity, we were phasing. And Something's we were, happening. And but so we're not we were, in the vicinity anymore. We were seeing other people trying to push the tower to our spot, <laughs> we're not and we're trying to push the tower to their spot. In the vicinity. And it's getting really, really messy. And now, me and Temujin, we're still in the control room, and these two... We got uh, flushed down. Yeah, and got hatched. flushed out. Right. And I don't know. I can't. I'm having troubles envisioning it right now. But yeah, it's. I just envision a toy that we got flushed down one of those. No, like, so basically, what it was is uh, the room is full of water, right? And <clears throat> it's think about something the size of this from the little control booth down there. Maybe two times as long as this, but this size. It's also sealed off from the main like silo area. And so water rushes in, you seal the door, you're all in here kind of underwater. Someone opened an exit door in the back of the control room, and when it opened, there was no water behind the door. Oh. So when it opened, all the water in the room, wolf, flushed out down that way because it's lower, right? Whatever's happening over there, it's going down from where you're at. And the water took these guys with it. And Temage and I are still in the now drier control room. Great, and we can breathe. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. Did all of those? No, only I can breathe. Never mind. No, we can. You you did it for us. I, I did, did it for everybody. Mm-hmm. Cast it for everybody. Yeah. yeah. So everybody was okay. Well, that's perfect. Um, all right. Where are we at, DM? That's where you're at. That was it. That was it. <clears throat> all right. I'll change the music. It's too happy. <laughs> So who wants to go first, control room or the guys getting flushed? Guys, flushed. Okay. <laughs> we already failed a deck save, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys got sucked in. You're heading down. How, when you say sucked in, was it just a adjacent room or is it like it's a long a hallway? Stairwell? It's a hallway. So it sucks straight in, not downward? No, there's a downward slant. <laughs> it's in this hallway. 
there's like a it's like a three step stairwell, and then you're rushing along with a bunch of water for a little bit, and you're gonna take seven damage. Josh can't think oh. of anything, so he's just gonna hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> you're starting slow. The <laughs> longer limb. I keep this going, the more damage you will take. Thanks. Think of something quick. <laughs> no, no, it's good. So, uh, you know, the water sort of kind of finds a level around knee high, and you guys find yourself in a hallway. Who has dark vision? You do. Uh, my. You do too, don't yep. you? 60 feet. Okay. Oh my god, seven damage? Seven damage. I have one hit point left. <laughs> <laughs> really? yeah, well, you smashed your head in the ceiling or something when you guys went down the incline. I don't know. Something bad happened to you. Yeah, we haven't had a rest at all. It's true. In a long time. Long, long time. It's been more than a game since you guys have had a rest, isn't it? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> so you're in a hallway cut from that black sort of glassy rock. Um, and it continues on past 60 feet. You guys are knee deep in water. Thigh deep, maybe hip deep almost, because you're shorter. Um, the hallway's dimensions are again larger than what you would consider normal for like standard human, right? It's more like uh, if, if everything were based on instead of a ten foot scale, a twelve foot scale. Well, I stand up. The door so behind you closes, and it's dark. Would you like some healing? I can do one more. Yes, okay. please. Like Your room is like six hit points. <laughs> so a paper cut doesn't kill you. <laughs> Bink. Yeah. So six there's seven. two doors. No, you, there's a door behind you. You can see like a small three steps up, and then there's like a wall, and that's you know that's, that's where the door, door was. Yeah, and then the hallway continues on in front of you. Mm. I'll turn start. around and look at this door. Is there a doorknob? No. I still have, wait, I still have detect magic going. Do you really? I do, because I used it on that wand. You okay. Did. So I'll turn around and look at this door. Is there anything magical on it? Any auras coming from it? If you didn't know that it was a door, it would look like the same as the rest of the hallway. It's just a chunk of black stone. All of the stone is magical. Yes. But is there any other auras specifically to this door? No. I'll take a coin out. I think I have a coin. I have something small. I'll just light it up. Okay. Coin, lockpick, whatever yep. tool. Yeah. So, boo. You know how to get through here. I point at the door behind me. Does it have like a thing that swims up when I walk up next to it? Like a figure? Like the... Uh, the oh, the panel. keypad? Keypad. No. Uh, would it be investigation to look for something? I don't see a door <clears throat> handle. <clears throat> Twelve. Okay. It looks like the wall. You know it's a door because you came through, through there. Oh, hiccups. How did he get through the other one? I didn't really see <coughs> it. Was the other one there was a keypad. <coughs> It was. Well, I don't know why I would, I would call it. Okay. There's, there's red lights that float to the front. Or an interface or something. Yeah. All right. I'll um, start feeling around the wall. Maybe it is... Any indentations... One way? ...that are different. No, it's smooth. Right. Well... In fact, uh, the hallway is not made of bricks put together. It's just one smooth hallway bored out through whatever this stone is. Perhaps we should stand clear of the entryway so that if they come through as well, we do not get hit by them. I'll roll my... Well, I won't roll my... I will also search around and see if I can figure something out. <laughs> but I'm going to cast Guidance. Okay. So you cast Guidance, and then you're going to try to use Investigation. If that's all I can use, then yes. I mean, investigation, you could be perceptive, but that would be I also have um, stone cunning. I don't okay, know. Okay, so that it's would amazing help. to you. Well, I mean, it just, to you, it strikes you as amazing that all of this is, <gasps> looks like it was cut through one large stone 
You don't know if it's some kind of substrata that's under the city, if you don't know what's going on, but it just looks like almost like the walls are made of glass and they're seamless because the stone is so smooth. Should I roll it? Sure. 14. You surmise that the door opens from the control room and not the other way around. <clears throat> right. So this door opens from the control room. Um, we should go back and uh, see if we can get through that other door now. It's not another door. It's just like there's that door and then there's just hallway that goes farther than 60 feet. We can either wait Back here. up the stairs to the where we came from. That's what you were looking at just now. That's what I was just looking at? I thought it was yeah. at the other side. No, if you want to go to the other side, you got to walk. There's something over there. I want to go to the other side. Okay. I figured I washed down the whole way and smacked my head against the door. You washed down a little ways, <laughs> but there's not another door over there. There's just, there's just wall. hallway. Yeah, I want to go that way. Okay. All right. Just more hallway? How long does it go? How far do you go? Keep going. You can see 60 feet. All right, so like 300 feet down, you come to some stairs, and then you can come up a little bit, and there's a landing, and it branches off and goes in three different directions. Because you can keep going straight ahead, you can go left, you can go right. We should wait here for them, I believe. Yeah, we should wait here. We don't want to branch. I go right. Okay. So you're going by yourself? Well, I'm out of us. Just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, you go right. Go right. So in the intersection, there's some stairs up, and then there's stairs down to each of the other hallways, right? It's like a kind of a raised section in the middle where it kind of comes up. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. So you go to the right. Okay. Um, How you... many points did you have? One. Wait, what'd you heal oh, me for? I healed six. you for six. <laughs> I didn't so you have you. seven hit points. <laughs> I blame my ears not being able to hear. <laughs> yeah, <anything>. What? Huh? <laughs> enough. I have enough. If I shake my head up and down, that probably means I didn't actually hear you. <laughs> yes, no. I just got good at that from being married. <laughs> nice. So you head down this other set of stairs, and um, I don't know, about 40 feet in, you come to a huge room. You can see the beginning of the room from the the raised section in the middle. When I go through these hallways, are they cluttered with anything or are they pretty barren? Like there, everything's been stripped from here. There is dust. Like when you come out of the water up onto the raised platform in the middle of the intersection, there's dust on the floor, but that's it. Is there any like parts of the wall that might have been covered for a long time and discolored by like portraits or anything? No. No, again, it's like it's like an underwater scene. Like you're just moving through this straight up square tunnel cut through this uh, rock without seam, and then you hit that part where it's like kind of raised, and then you see like bricks again and stuff. And sometimes when you guys are walking down the hallway, you see like shapes moving in the rock. That's a little disconcerting. What's in this room? Uh, you gonna walk into the room? A little bit. What's in the room? You can walk and peek in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You walk and peek in, and what you see is there's a couple, like, massive raised stone areas in the middle. There's, like, four of them. And then along the walls, there's alcoves. And in the alcoves, there's what looks like bodies, but they're large. Large bodies. Oh. They're wrapped in something. Can't tell what it is. I don't disturb the dead. I walk back. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Detect magic. Are they magical? The four, like, large, uh, like, the sarcophagi in the middle of the room are magical. And there's magic emanating from inside. And the wrapped bodies? Uh, nope. Not magical. Some of them have magic in the wrappings. Like, there's something wrapped with them that's magic. I'm not that greedy, so okay. I'll walk back. All right, you go back. And I'll report what I found here, and I'm like, Coward. it probably is better that we wait for our friends. It might be better just to find somewhere to hole up for an hour. Rest I am a little. Uh, sitting there cross-legged and letting this stuff do my short rest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> or start that, at least. All right, so you're starting the rest. Are we all underwater this whole <laughs> way, by the way? 
or no, you're not underwater. Like this is all water. Or... No, you. So when you were you in... stop at that raised dais. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yep. So this is all dry. Yep. And I'll sit in the the top of the dais with. Okay, him. so where it's more raised in the middle of where that no intersection. Water. All right. Dry off. Rest. Rest. Okay. Rest. Back to you guys in the control room. Okay. Um. So, we, in real life, have been gone for 14 days, as opposed to maybe a minute since all of this. Right. What, uh, and remember, we have to... You're setting a delay, I believe, on it. To do, yeah. Well, somebody for... thought that would be a good idea. I thought that'd be terrible. No, you thought it would be good for one other person to sacrifice you were trying to figure, Oh, that's yes. right. You were trying to figure out I thought out the best the would be to yeah. have someone else push the button. Born again. <laughs> I mean, he knows how to do it. Or the robot. <laughs> or the mod. He doesn't care who it is, yeah, as long as it's not you. him. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, so we're trying to act, activate it to have it go away when it's not here or when it is here. You can, you can I forget. To, so there's been some talk among the individuals that you've been zipping in and out of about like temporally displacing it. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that you can cause it to, like, the city to move temporally or spatially, right? I think so. Um, but this the whole thing is kind of zipping in and out. Mm -hmm. And so if it's gone when you move the city, who knows what will happen when it comes back? Will it come back to where the city is? And, you know, after it's moved, will it come back here without the city? What will happen? So you guys are trying to figure out if you could set a delay, or if someone was going to do it, or what was going to happen. I mean, you could just allow events to unfold unnaturally, uh, naturally, too. I forget, what happened to Abder? Did he... Abder's probably with you guys. Oh, with me and Ryan? Yeah. Okay. Or... Yeah, I feel like he... He didn't make got flushed out. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so he's sitting there with us then? <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Tamat. <sighs> you got any uh, great ideas? I could smash it with my hammer. Uh, or you could Wait. probably figure out what to do, Tenajin. <sighs> so, near as I can tell, we got to touch that button right there, or set the delay over here to figure out, make that button press itself. Mm. Right? The robot was talking about a delay. Yeah, that's what that is right there. We should do that. <laughs> well, okay. That sounds totally fair and reasonable. What we have to do is try to guess when we want <laughs> it to go off. <coughs> At what point do we want that little button to be delayed? Mm. How far? How this, long? This much. All right, here. Yeah, I got mm -hmm. to, I think. So I go over there and I crank the dial <laughs> for time and I make it. I, can, I make it like two seconds. <laughs> really? <laughs> and I say, all right, Tomat, <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, you're you're way faster than me. So I'm gonna get a head start, and you're gonna press this, and you have two minutes to follow me. All right. Uh, wait. Two so minutes to run just as fast you know, as you can. That moves the, the whole city, right? See, see, that's the thing. It doesn't matter that much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, Tanjin. Now, when you set the delay, do you set it to move? the city temporally or spatially or both? Right now I haven't adjusted that one. This was okay. just the delay. All right. It's like setting the timer on the camera before we get everyone arranged. I mean, it's all in the same UI. Oh, okay. Do you like chance? Games a look. Mm. I make my own luck, Temujin. Do you? Yes, I do. How, how much have you made today? I haven't made any luck today. Oh. Today has been horrible. Well, so you're due for something good, right? I suppose so. That's the spirit. All right. What do you say we just, uh, 
We just spin these dials all random, like. They're like, it's a. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you do? What if we just do that? I, su I suppose, but shouldn't we be taking this a bit more seriously? Well, here's the thing. We're all fucking doomed. As near as I can tell, we have to somehow find a way to time this so that it goes off at the right time to the right place, but still give us enough time to get... <clears throat> well, assuming the other guys are still alive, we gotta go get them, get out of the city at the very least, where we're gonna get uh, ate to death by those cataplapuses. That's gonna be bad. And then all of this is going to fall apart, and even the best case scenario, the world's already fucked anyway. We got, uh, we're all just biding our time before the mortal coil comes creeping up on up behind us, killing us in our sleep. Mm. I go up to you and I take, I take a knee right in front of you, right? And I put my hand on your shoulder and I go, Temujin, we will save the world. Well, you are... As optimistic as ever. The world is not fucked. I believe fate is with us. Let's turn these knobs. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. Let's go save the goddamn world. All right. So how long do you think we should delay this for? I think the robot said something like five minutes. Five minutes? You can't get the fuck out of that city within five minutes. Mm. Well, must then. Have, must have been five hours. Ooh. Five hours. Right? Hmm. Five days? We could definitely get out of here in five hours. Right, that's, that is certainly the hope. How about, how about we, we, we just double down on that five thing? Five days, no, five hours. You're right, yeah. Five hours, five minutes, and five seconds. Doot, 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 doot. Hmm. He said something about the math being just right with the fives. Mm, yes, and that's I what it was. Uh, that seems like shoddy math to me, but I mean, he is a calculator. Yes, and the DM's face is not giving away anything right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we just round up to just an arbitrary number. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Since there, we, we don't know shit about this technology, uh, do we have anyone to ask? Abder don't know shit. Um, they're gone, flushed down. Is there like a beep, beep, beep? Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. <laughs> Alexa. <laughs> okay. No? Jeeves. Yeah, ask Jeeves. <laughs> I am defeated. There, <laughs> there is no way to get any guidance. We got nothing but pure, pure guesswork. Right? Do we really need five days? No. Maybe. I mean, the real concern is that this thing is doing its business uh, at an ever-increasing rate. By the time even an hour is gone, I think it could be too late. Hmm. So what do you say we... 35 minutes. That's a good amount of time. That, that, all right, I'm just going to do it. All right, now where should we send this thing? What do you say? Into the future, to the past, to someplace else, somewhere else? Mm, the future. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Kick that shit down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, future selves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> may, may the grandkids forgive us all. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What? A uh, hundred years? Uh. 200 years, Temujin. Oh, yeah. It's not that exact. That's, all right. <laughs> how about we just crank that fucking dial all the way to the right? Yes. <laughs> Far into the future. Ah, the end of time. Then it doesn't matter anyway. Exactly. After the heat death of the universe, you may have it. <laughs> You're so smart, Temujin. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I stick my cock at the future. What? <laughs> <laughs> well... I, d I didn't expect <laughs> such graphic nudity 
And I slam the button. Bing! Okay, <laughs> countdown starts. You know when you just start saying things just to say them? <laughs> All right, no. Come on. Let's, uh, I don't think I've ever said those words that you just said. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's time for us to hold the door. 35 minutes. Go. Okay, it opens up. All right, on we go. Boom. Boom. Okay. Hey, carry me. You're going to have to carry me. <laughs> okay, I, I, I grab open. him. I put him on my shoulder. <laughs> okay. And these guys come running downstairs and splash into water about knee deep. So we didn't get an hour rest. No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at this point, you're coming back. You're just like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. This is what I found over there. And then splash, 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 splash. Do I oh. see him? Uh, do you have dark vision? Wait, wait, wait. Clock's ticking, lads. <laughs> Did the door close? Yeah, as soon as they come in, the door closes. You don't want to go that way. <laughs> God damn it. Ghost <laughs> Orin. <laughs> Ghost Orin, we must leave right now. We have 34 minutes. You can see them because he has a lit thing. Okay. He has a thing that's lit up. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to yell at them before they come through. Will they get flushed through? No. no there's no there's water, no water in that room. control room. Like, it's all here. Hold the door. <laughs> You no, that's bad out there. <laughs> Slunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you forget anything over there? <sighs> There's no way to get back. No, no, we got to go that way. We don't. So, yeah, clock's ticking. I am, I am. Yes. Not, I'm not stopping running. <laughs> we we, we <laughs> okay. did some precise calculations and decided that we needed exactly 35 minutes. So we got to get motivated. Does the math work out? We can double check the math right. now, or we can just fucking go. Don't know. That's when it's gonna happen. So I say left, and I, and I go right, and I go left. Do you know left from right? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! If we go down that way, I say there are four. I don't know panels, columns, no, no sarcophagi. Oh, don't go down that way. <laughs> <laughs> right. I thought they were columns. I no, can't no, hear there's them. these big box like stone structures in the middle of the room. They're sarcophagi. Oh, yeah, don't go that way. Uh, left, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. Good so call. I'm sitting on his shoulder, Master Blaster style. Right. And I'm going through my backpack too to see what things that we grab. What? Jump. You guys want to <laughs> do the magic check, magic item thing now? <laughs> well, did. in case there's anything that. <laughs> did, you, did he jump? Did you jump? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Swing! <laughs> <Blam! laughs> For real? You really did? Nah, I don't know. What's going on? He's on your shoulders. Yeah, I won't jump. Oh, okay. come on, you and, and did he it. Shouted, jump. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even stop to ask how high. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's always high. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, come on. I'd be like, take a strength modifier plus one of damage. <laughs> oh, that would have been the best thing ever. I would have killed him. Maybe. Okay, so you guys want to do the magic item check now? The things they stole? Yeah, yeah. the things he's going stole. In case any of it comes in super handy. Yeah, all right. Like, Could be like it, a if there's a helm of teleportation or something, <laughs> now's the time to find it. Okay. Uh, Takes an hour to attune treasure, to it. Temujin, <laughs> Temujin, here I had my my item up to you okay. while I'm like running. Actually, you're probably so I, right. I grabbed a uniform with tools and an armload of stuff from Locker. Okay. So you have uniform and some tools. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I wasn't you sure. got no, so. six chips that look like they're made out of the same obsidian-like substance as the walls. They're square in nature. Think of something like five times as thick as a playing card about the same size. Uh, challenge. What is the group shit? Treasure horror is that what for? Okay, sure. <clears throat> All right, who wants to roll some shit? I want to roll. Roll. It's gonna be bad. Roll two times. Seventeen. That's bad. Just fuck that. Roll it again. <laughs> One hundred. Oh no! Is that, yeah. Is that zero 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 wow. zero zero yeah. zero. That's the one. That's, That's kind of wild. That's going to save us, dude. That, that might. Holy shit. If I could do it again. 17 it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to fucking you. All right. Roll. Roll again. Roll that beautiful beat footage. Come on, 100. <laughs> 31. 
a rod of security. Oh, that's the thing that uh, Merritt had that sent what's her name away to the perfect world for a hundred years. Nice. So you guys have a rod of security. Is it a tomb? Uh, I don't know. We'll get there. Just write that shit down. <laughs> so who who has it? Well, that's I'll what you have, it. or what we all have? Or what? Yeah, it's in the stuff. Okay. And then you're gonna roll. Mm. Roll three more times. Three more times. You want me to roll? You're rolling, so roll it. All right. 86. Nice. That's good. 86? Come on, 86. Uh, instrument of the Bards. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got us a chamber pot. Focklin Bandor. That's a great name. Focklin. Or... Fuck looking. What? What? Fosh looking. Is he having a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, man. 33. <clears throat> 33? Mm-hmm. Broom of flying. <laughs> Mine? 28. Jeez, horrible. Cape of the Mountebank. Oh. I think that was all my rolls. Yeah. You've been carrying a broom around. <laughs> it's you bigger than you. A bunch of shit. <laughs> Why you got a broom? This is a janitor's closet. Why do you have a flying dildo? Oh god. Because I figure it doesn't actually look like these things because they're all futury items. Yeah, probably. So it's actually uh, like a Dyson. It's a a Dyson of flying. <laughs> that would be the best shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> I cleaned up two rooms. I gotta charge the battery. <laughs> Alright, so you wanna know what the Rat of Security is all about? I got it. Okay, cool. Is it attunement? I'll tell you. Because you guys might want to nip out at some point. It is very rare, not attunement. While holding this rod, you can use an action to activate it. It instantly transports you and up to 199 other willing creatures to a paradise that exists in an extra planar space. Oh, so we can retire? Basically, well, uh, uh, here's the issue though. When time runs out, use an action to end it. All visitors reappear in the location they occupied when you activated the rod or an unoccupied space nearest that location. Yeah, it'd be best if we got out just in case. <laughs> so, I'm not technically holding these. No, G's got all the shit. And you know what it does. Because um, just holding it lets you know what it does. So how, how long is or it? Or maybe not. I know it goes down per number of people you have with you. So if you have 200 people, it's like an hour. If you have one person, it's like... Yeah, it's divided by the number of people you put in there. So hours or it's 200 days. 200 it's days. days. Divided by Four. five. Or if five, we do all right. Those. Yeah, so 40 days. It's okay. a long time. That's and long for time. each hour spent there, you regain hit points as if you had spent a hit die. You wow. don't age while you're there. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. And you can remain in there. Yeah, 200 days divided by number of creatures. So if there are four of us, then only 50 days. Five of you, 40 days. Because Abner is with you. Oh, fuck. We have Abner. <laughs> you don't have to take it. Well, he chooses who goes. <laughs> it might just be one person for 200 days. <laughs> yeah, everybody else. At 33 minutes, <laughs> let me know. Here's the weird thing, though. It doesn't say how often you can activate it. Yeah, it does. At the end, it says uh, once you use it, you can't do it again until 10 days. Oh, passed. 10 days. Okay. Yeah. So it recharges after 10 days. Oh. Uh, Although it might recharge while you're in paradise. No. Probably not. I would say no. That would be amazing. It says when the time runs out, and then after that, it says the rod can't be used until 10 days have passed. So, oh, okay. Right. I would say time runs out, 10 day timer starts after it runs out. Yeah. But it is interesting that you could technically one person could live for, was it two years every 10 days? Two, and not age? 200 days is not two years. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Half a year. 60. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, about half a year for every 10 days. Yeah, but yep. you're going to a place with no other people at that point. Paradise is, like, relative when you're all alone. And who knows if that's where you go or not. There's some sort of spatial temporal issues. Why <sighs> would you say that? <laughs> Fuck me! 
All right. <laughs> <I'm done>. <laughs> 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 yeah, in that case, uh, yeah, so <laughs> no, no. the cape of the mountain bank <coughs> can fuck itself. All right, so I do take the dice and I'll fly. <laughs> Everything else can just <laughs> blow itself. The cape is also not a tumor. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> and I throw the cape at you. What's the mountain bank want to do again? What's your teleport? Dimension that you bounce through, di- through dimensions. Uh, you don't want to yes. go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. All right. And the boom of flying is also not a tomb. Mm-hmm. No, this is so, a Yeah, I throw the cape goes to Orin. The uh, the bard item view. I give you the tom drum. Doom, doom, doom. I love it. I can't wait to play it with my horn. And I, I pass the <laughs> rod of security down to you, and I say. It might be bad, but just when shit is a very well, I don't know. Here, this is this is all yours. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. So you keep the, the dice in a flying. <laughs> all right, it's the dust devil, right? Of hoverboard. <laughs> can it be a hoverboarding dust devil? Sure, it can yes. be a hoverboard. All right. Yeah, but you see what happens on hoverboards. You can skin it however you want to skin it. More than one way to skin a cat. There you go. Or a hoverboard. <sighs> How fast is this maybe flying cat thing go? I think it's 60 feet per round. Oh, I don't have to be on your shoulder anymore. Uh, 50. <laughs> and I oh, 50. S- Damn it, look at you. You look at you, girl. Uh, hey. <laughs> it's, it's like a pink hoverboard. Mm-hmm. I'll and that's the future. <laughs> just God. the movement, so you could technically go 100 if you dash, right? Or can it dash? Yeah, I think it just, that's the movement. So I think you okay. can dash. Yeah. Move dash, just what you're doing. Okay, so yeah, you can keep up with. All right, so yeah, I just it's like a horse, and you can send it up to one mile away. Get out, (laughs) save yourself, (laughs) (laughs) my love. (laughs) Go for it. When you speak the command word, it'll come back too. (sighs) That's pretty cool. Call it. Oh shit, wolf! Let's get out of here. But yeah, if someone's a aware, I could be like, remember. go pick up this person, bring him back. Hmm? Oh. We send it into the kitchen. Put the nachos on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Boomerang! <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh, man, I'm going to abuse this thing if I survive. <laughs> if I survive. <laughs> okay, so you guys decided to take a left instead of a right? I'm or instead of a straight? Or sarcophagi. Okay, mm-hmm. if you move to the left, you find a similar arrangement, except instead of four sarcophagi in the middle of the room, there's uh, what <laughs> looks like a sort of monument. There's a figure done in stone on top of one sarcophagi, and then there's alcoves around the walls. Other way, go straight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what does this monument look it's like? It's like a tomb down there. The Christ. monument looks really weird. So, That's what I'm talking about. Yep, so... Um, it's like, a, it looks kind of like a two legged, two armed creature, but instead of hair, it looks like it's got thin, like thin tendrils of flesh hanging down from its head, and it's got three eyes. It's got an eye in the middle of its forehead, two eyes where you would have two eyes, and uh, it's got these crazy lower canines that jut out of its mouth. Oh, sorry. Like a troll? No, I'm going straight. <laughs> Not like a troll. Uh, uh, wrong way, Temujin. It would appear this is not the way out. Turn around. Okay, you guys go back. We got one more, <laughs> one more yeah. way. You go straight. We go straight now. Okay. Uh, the hallway is long. It seems like it's all put together by bricks at this point. It's not one big, large column of stone anymore. Um, you see shapes kind of moving closer to the surface of the bricks as you move along. Do they swim away from my light? Mm, yeah, they're not really into the light. But they kind of gather around the periphery. So wherever it's dim light, you'll see a bunch of them. Okay. Sort of. And then as you move, they move with you. I've Just still got detect magical, if that means anything. I mean, they're magical, whatever the figures are in the stone. Is the floor all magical? Everything's magical. God, it's like overload of my senses. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Like, ah. If I ever see any other auras, though, that are not that certain enchantment. Whatever the things are in the stone are necromancy. If 
I ever see other things that are like particular, I'd like to know, I guess. Okay. Especially things in like the floor that might be magical traps or things like that. Oh, you're looking for magical traps. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. All right. You guys are continuing on. Just straight, 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 forever, forever, forever. For a really long time. Uh, it feels like you can rule me. Uh, what's stone cutting? Stone, stone cutting? Well, I'll just the give it to you. Stone smith. You can, tell, you can tell that, like, slowly as you guys are walking down this tunnel, it is starting to ascend. Right? So it's not level anymore. It's slowly moving upward at an angle. And also, there's a slight curve. Right, not enough for you to notice, uh, but if it were bright, you could look ahead and see it eventually curve out of sight. So we were going straight away from the tower, pretty much. Yep. Okay. And it started to curve. So right. subtly. At this point, I could almost assume we're out of the city. No, the city's not super. It's not that large. Oh, okay. Remember, this tunnel isn't as long as the city is large. The city's large. So it's not that long. And it's still the same material as the city's made out of. So we're not out of the city yet. And I'll repeat all that information that he just told me. Uh, 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 any, anyone been keeping track? Mm. How, how, long, how long has it been? I have uh, kept a timer going. Can you count? <laughs> can you do that? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I think you can keep perfect time and that's a feat. Right. There is a feat for that. Yeah, so you cannot keep perfect time. Well, <laughs> you want to round us to the nearest five minutes? It's been probably about ten minutes. Oh, Lord. Perhaps pick up, <laughs> pick up the pace, guys! <laughs> How long did you say we got again? Uh, probably 25 minutes now, maybe, max. These super precise calculations that you made. Yeah. Look, I'm a fucking genius, right? We had to had to do it just right, and we didn't have a lot of time to fuck with it. Right. Try to do moving geometry. You don't, probably don't even know what that is, do you? <laughs> I didn't it's think so. Right, study of rocks, right? <laughs> oh, you, you poor bastard. <laughs> Good thing I'm in charge. <laughs> I, turn, I turn around because Orin's oh, probably rocks. like 30 <laughs> feet behind me by now and be like, You should stop talking, Orin, and save your wind. Your short, stubby legs are not moving you fast enough. Don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jump. Skadoog. I'll get you one day. <laughs> As you guys are moving down the tunnel, you start to feel like a faint vibration uh, in the rock around you. Almost like a humming. Think of a transformer. Ooh. You hear that? Oh, I've got water in the ears. Mm, yep. You can just drag your hand along the super smooth glass. Does that make the things follow any closer, like a fish tank? Uh, I mean, when you put your hand against it, you can see shapes kind of come closer on the other side. It seems like there's a lot of depth to the stones. Like, it feels like if you're looking at it, you can look far away and things come towards you. Mm. So there's that weird underwater feel to the whole situation. <sighs> Do you suppose we should uh, try to smash some of these rocks on our way by? <clears throat> what? <laughs> I do not believe that would be a good idea. <laughs> Mostly just curious. Is nobody else really in a big rush? I feel like uh, we're about to die. I mean, you guys are moving pretty fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. As um, you're moving down through the tunnel, the vibration that you feel in the walls gets like more and more intense the farther you go along. <clears throat> but suddenly, from behind you, you hear this thing that sounds like a deep, sustained very loud bass note, like from a trumpet only bassier, like oh. deeper. <laughs> Hold on to your asses, it's, it's like the brown a, note. A cosmic <laughs> injury do. Is it that would be so good. Oh, I wanna make a bard that can do that. <laughs> Vicious oh, mockery of the brown yeah, note. Yeah, it's like, oh, God. <laughs> just shitting your pants. Take 1d4 <laughs> bowel damage. Yes, so good. <laughs> Gas pains. <laughs> 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 That's a disadvantage on your next attack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sure yeah, right. I feel like I missed something here. <laughs> 
The brown note, dude. Don't you know what the brown mm. note is? The brown note is that mythical sound that if you hit that note, it automatically makes people's bowels release because it vibrates at a certain frequency that makes you shit yourself. The American government put He's real time into trying right to figure now. it out. He's not hearing anything right now. He's doing this. He turned it off. That's cool. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, you guys hear like this crazy, horrible sound from behind you, super deep and sustained. And uh, I need a wisdom save from everybody. <sighs> magic? Yeah, I mean, you can have advantage. Not because it's magic, but you have advantage. Because I'm awesome. Which well. is good. <laughs> <laughs> So it was like two and two. I rolled a one, and then mm-hmm. I rolled a two. <laughs> yes. So I fuck up my goodness. wisdom save. That's a spirit. <laughs> That's good, man. Hey, three. We're on a roll over here. <laughs> one, two, three. I, I will take my dice back. I also rolled a three. <laughs> did I forget. Did I have a ten? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is that scribble? Is that an inspiration? Yeah, it doesn't ten look like make it. We there. definitely made I mean, it over here. Have you rolled an inspiration roll? I don't think I've ever used one. Well, then I would use it now. I don't know how long it... I don't think I have a shelf life. Never mind. Hasn't been a day. Hey! I'm natural 20 that shit. Yeah, Did you really? really? Yeah, inspiration saves. Uh, at least me. Yeah. Nice. Um, Fuck y'all. <laughs> I do have an inspiration pending. Um, so if a 10 doesn't make it, let me know. Or do you want me to re-roll it? 10 plus. What do you think? If it's... It's the brown <laughs> note of doom, man. <laughs> I used my inspiration. <laughs> right. There you go. I, I was just nominated for inspiration at all. <laughs> Fuck. Was oh, worse? you chose poorly. Bummer. <laughs> okay. All right. So those of you that didn't make the save. Wait, wait. Did a seven make it? No. <laughs> <laughs> How about a ten? <laughs> no. So Temujin made it. And, yeah, uh, Abner made it. Okay. Um, my new adventuring party. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. You guys hear what sounds like, you know, someone stretching, there's creaking noises, and you hear like, ah, in your mind. Finally, after so long, I've been trying to wake up. You yeah. guys hear that? Yeah. They all slow down. They start slowing down. Oh, we do slow down? You do slow down. You rolled a three? Mm-hmm. Okay, so he like... You know, there's probably some, like, he stumbles a little bit and kind of puts his hand up against the wall. Uh, you rolled seven? Ten. Ten? Well, ten was my highest. But okay. I, so the two of you guys kind of, like, slow down and, like, put your hands to your head, and there's, like, a splitting pain that accompanies the voice. Hmm. Guys! Oh! Gotta go, 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 go! <laughs> and you're on his shoulders. No, no he's I'm, on my, I'm on my hoverboard. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Damage something's wrong. Yeah, the world's fucking ending. No, no. Now I'm hearing voices in my head. That's Are they telling you to get the fuck out? Because that's what my voice was saying. No, he's awake. <laughs> then more so. Go! <laughs> Come on! I'm gonna try to run. Okay, I mean, you can... You can do a full movement action, but you can no longer dash. You think it's time? I don't know. What do you think? I just time to go. If we need to leave, that's the fastest way. How much further till we are out of the city? A while, maybe. Not a super long time. Maybe not. We don't really know. I mean, you can probably tell you're a dwarf. You do this stuff. Dwarf. (laughs) You're probably about halfway (laughs) towards the outside wall if you were moving in a straight line, but you're kind of curving a little bit. If you're thinking halfway and it's been how long? Ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes? Okay, so ideally we'd be able to leave the city. I don't know about you, but I just hear... I'm hearing voices in my head. Oren, run! I am running. Mm-hmm. That's probably you, all. the dreamer. Whatever it is, you, you don't want it in there. Right. That crazy elf heard the voices too. And where is he now? I don't know. We'll talk about it later. 
That's fun. I'll tell you what I did to him later. <laughs> or not at all. We should wait until we're outside of the city. The rod returns us to where we left. If it teleports after we leave, we might teleport with it to the future or the past or whatever. Was that sounds to. awful. Yes, that is why I want to get out of the city before I attempt to use it. All right. All right. Keep going. Okay, you guys keep going. You're moving more slowly. Uh, every now and then, you can hear Yule, but he's not making sense. He's not speaking in common all the time. Sometimes he's making these horribly guttural, viciously bad guaddle noises in your mind that just cause you pain. You guys start having nosebleeds. <laughs> Rusty pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're just running. Okay. Every so often, I'll turn around and yell at Orin to hurry the F up. <laughs> All right. Before we go any further, I'm going to use my last spell of third level and cast Enhance Ability on him and me. With <laughs> Owl's Wisdom. Okay. Protection or advantage on wisdom saves. Wisdom saves. Is it saves? Think. Or is it wisdom checks? I think it's wisdom checks. God damn it's checks. Yeah. Never mind. We do this every week. Every time. <laughs> right. Uh, Isn't there a thing like guidance for saves though? Mm, I don't think in this edition. Resistance, maybe? Okay. No, resistance gives you resistance to a specific element. Right. I think, there, I think you're right. I think there is something that you can do to prep for it, but it would take your action, which would slow us down, mm-hmm. and it would only be active for like... A minute or something like that, right? It might even be like an action or two actions or something like that. All right. Okay. I'm going to use my first level, my last first level slot instead, and I'll cast Protection from Evil on him. Protection from Good and Evil, which gives them advantage to saves. Against Aberrations. Mm. Oh, sweet. <clears throat> Okay. Would you like to make a new save? I would. And this is advantage? Well, I mean, thank, thank God that I had advantage, right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. You rolled a six or something. But thanks. Yeah. One and a four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You do it. Good job. Mark off your spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it lasts for a while at least. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are moving again. Uh, you start to... Now the path starts to curve like more sharply around to the right. You see more and more of whatever it is in the wall. They're coming closer and closer. You can see the shapes like now in the light. They don't come right up to you, but they're closer to you. They're, there's more crowding around. Uh. I think we've got a great sense of direction. Are we still going? Are we curling all the way back? Can I roll no, survival? No, all the way back. We're Can you roll just there's curving been, to the side a little. There's been no other doors out there. There was a tomb full of things and a statue full of whatever. Well, my hope is that this is a straight. tunnel that goes outside of the city. That would be very nice. I'm trying to think why they would want someone to be able to access their control room from them outside. Because maybe they don't want them to have to go through the city. But you might not be able to go through the city. The Uh, door only opens one way. The door only opens one way. Unless you exit, not Uh, Hey, Okay. Nope, I have no idea. You come to, looks like an elevator (gasps) shaft. Oh, fuck. I know where we are. These are the things on the corners. Mm. All right. Uh, Okay. You guys have to make new wisdom saves. We're so close to being eaten by catablapuses. Come <laughs> on, man. You can do better than that. Eleven? No. God damn it. Can I hold my action for a lesser restoration to cast as soon as I make the save? No. <laughs> Dang it. So I rolled a one and a two last time. This yeah. time it was a two and a one. A two and a one. Okay. So, yeah. I'm and still I don't getting have any better. I got a four. Eleven. 18. Nice. You make the save. Oh. Oh, Abder fails. 
All my friends. Yeah. So you guys feel horrible splitting head pain and oh. you find yourself unable to get into the elevator shaft. Oh. Let's go, hey. everyone. Come hey, on. Is that what you were talking about? <laughs> this is fuck. Oh. Oh. And I kind of drift the other way. <laughs> okay. How wounded do they all look? What's up? How wounded do they all look? I don't know. How wounded are you guys? Amber looks fine. I'm a piece of shit. I'm half-half. Eight. Nine. Nine. Nine points left. Eight. Yep. They all look really fucked. Up. I have twenty nine. Except Abder. Yeah, Abder's fine. He regenerates. I smack him with Toll the Dead to see if that wakes him out of his stupor. <laughs> okay. He saves. Maybe. What's he roll? He. It's a wisdom save. Yeah. He rolls a seventeen. Or I think it's a con save, maybe. Well, con save. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Forget about it. Bong. Yeah. Nothing. He hears the noise. <sighs> Fine. You, mm. if you want to, have the option of pushing your way into the elevator shaft. It will just cause you damage. Uh, How many days till Eric? <laughs> There's four days to there. Uh, still. Push me in the We've been at four days for a while. <laughs> uh, so as your head starts to hurt, you feel you feel like an answering searing pain in your rib. <laughs> <laughs> and I you go in? I force myself in. Take two damage. <laughs> Alright. Like you start to cry like tears of blood. Blood's coming out of your nose, out of one of your ears. You can taste it in the back of your throat. But you push your way into the elevator shaft. Yeah, I just make the thing drag me in. The, right. The surfboard. I'm spraying blood <laughs> particles. Yes. I'm going to slam my hammer against the obsidian stone. Okay. In the elevator or out? No, not in the elevator. Okay. On the outside because it makes a very loud thunderous boom. You do the thunder thing? Yeah. Oh, all right. Roll your damage. Oh, here's hoping my corpse just lays on it into the elevator. <laughs> you keep on taking the Eric dice away from me. Sorry. <laughs> Hope it rolls well for you. Eight. Hit the uh, 12? 13, 13. 13 damage. All right. So Oren takes his hammer pulls it back and swings it into one of the blocks. And you guys hear like there's this crazy peal of thunder. Um, the sound washes over you and you are you feel okay but the uh, brick has a huge crack in it and the crack starts to widen and there are other spiderweb cracks go away from it and Run, you see go. shapes rushing towards the breach in the brick. <sighs> and so... <clears throat> Can they get in the elevator? He's right in the elevator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for Abder. Come on, eight. One, two. Oh. That's two. <laughs> well, you deserve it. Uh, so. I hate to... Does the thunder damage cause AoE to us? No. Okay. It's not sorry. damage. It's just right. loud as fuck. It's just loud as fuck. Okay. Yeah. But what it did is what was affecting you guys was a subsonic vibration. And so when he smashes the wall, the sound kind of breaks the frequency for a second. Sure. We fucked up our ears so we can't hear it anymore. Okay. So uh like withered sort of mummified arm breaks through the crack in the brick and goes to reach for you and gets close. It like catches some of your beard. <laughs> just take it, just take it. <laughs> Does it hit me? No. But close. Like it was like and you're like, holy shit. And it's run, like run, right go, there. go, go, now, now, run. <laughs> Oh, in the elevator. The arm is like unnaturally long and it has more joints than it should in its fingers. Its hands seem weird. And it has, instead of four fingers and a thumb, it's got two thumbs. On Does each it look side. like what I did helped? Like they can get in? Yeah, they could go in now. Oh, thank God. I run, I run did in. It, guys? Hmm? Oh, okay, Temujin, blood's like coming out of my eyes and ears <laughs> right now and my nose. Damage and we did it. <laughs> We're not even out of the fucking temperature yet. Let alone the city. 
Okay. No what are the options? The Come on, let's go. Get, get in. What are the options in the elevator? Go yeah. to. Uh, well, it's like you can read it. Yep. And you could go up or you could go down. Up. <laughs> up. <laughs> All right. So beep, 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 there's, beep, beep. there's four levels. There's ground, the level you're at, a, a sub level below it, and then another sub level below it. Just go up to ground. Bleep is sign. Let's kill those bloody bleepus. The fuck you talking about? It's going to be a challenge. <laughs> Ground. Okay. <laughs> you guys go up. Door opens. You're inside of one of the rooms in the corner of the city. Okay. All right. Now we got to get out. Out of the room. And then it's going to be, uh, going to be worse, but not as worse as down there. You guys are around 25 minutes at this point, you yeah. figure. Give or take. We don't have long... And then there's a coin flip to see if our math was right. <laughs> uh, can we use the broom to up and over? Mm-hmm. It would save us time getting out. Well. Depends on which side we get out at. Sure. Um, all right. That's a good call. You guys can see all kinds of shapes in the wall. Large, large shapes moving down underneath the building that you find yourself in. Hmm. I mean, we're getting out of the building. Though. They're, they're going to come through that crack, though. So we run, need... Run, run. Come on, yeah. let's go. Uh, run, run. In case you come out of the building, Here. you're now in the city. Tamat! <laughs> Up and over. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you make it happen, right? Yep. Uh, I, I guess I don't know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can, can the, I, okay, I can so make it come go. back. It's not a tombment, but if you're over 200 pounds, it flies a little slower. Not no. much. 50 feet. Nice. <laughs> Is it 200 okay. pounds? Yeah. I do oh, the up okay. and over. Okay, you go up and over. On the other side, it's swamp. Is it where all the bleepuses are? Or are they just waiting at the door? They're waiting at the door. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, toss the broom and, by. And, and then when yeah, I, I think back. it's back, I say, boomerang! <laughs> okay. Whether or not it's actually all sure. the way over, who knows? <laughs> I don't know if you can. It's within a mile, right? right? Yeah, but it's whoever controls it. I mean, he can send it back over the wall, too. That's true. Uh, so I'll send it back over the wall. Okay. Are you trying to be stealthy and hidden, or are you just hanging out? like? I'm going to be too stealthy and hidden. In fact, I'm going to start, like... Camouflage. Just yeah, rolling one up Roll in the mud, man. Yeah. 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 Hoping like it's predator style. style. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, you. Do you want me to roll a... Stealth. S- sneaky. Helio. <laughs> up and over. That's not my name. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah, dwarfy elephant bastard. Guilt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Uh, whatever. Thirteen. Okay. Cool. I go find Tamat. How far did he go? What's your <laughs> default perception? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like cruising around. Yeah. What's your default perception? Boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Swear he falls off. Oh, my default perception is sixteen. Oh, you can see him. He's lying in the mud. He's looking up at you. His big white eyes <laughs> are it's like looking out of the mud. He smiles. There's like a yeah. flash of white. Bunch of teeth. Yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> I'll also send the broom back. Okay. Who goes next? Me? Yep. Okay. Make sure Abner's last. I put out the light. <laughs> Fucking Abner. Okay. Put, put the light out. Yep. Cool. So I'm not a glowing beacon and go over. Okay. All right. You guys go over. Mm-hmm. Abder and then Nick. Abder and then you? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to die? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why would you ask that? I'm just saying, now would be a great time to make it happen if that's what you want. Uh, I mean, I want to earn it when it happens. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll say that and I'll walk away from the table. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Well, I send Abner over. <laughs> he goes over. We were just getting on the other side of the wall and then send it back, right? <laughs> yeah, so send it back. It wasn't like, you know, five minutes, find a good spot to hide. No, I mean, it's like you get there, you're like, yeah, I gotta hide. And so he's just like, mud, 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 mud. <laughs> Are you trying to be hidden? <laughs> Not like that. Okay. I'm just not going to, like, shout or anything. We're just standing in the middle of the swamp. 
Orin, you okay. should lay down next to me in the mud. I'm gonna try to go up against the I wall if there's like a. It, uh, does. it does. A concave. You know, it, it's like this, and you guys are mm. at the corner. Okay. Right, once they get yeah. here, we need to use that. Okay, Abdur comes over. He, try, he tries to hide. He does a good job. As well. All right, if everyone's doing it, I'll give it a <laughs> cast guidance. <laughs> I only got a five stealth, so I'm like trying to find a concave area. Yeah, like up against the wall. Just clink, clink. 21. Actually, I probably nice. go up against the wall and then you realize the wall's then probably going to disappear you. soon, and then I get I'm away from you. Well. Well. So that's probably over you. Okay. why this I got to you do it. <laughs> all right, you fly over. You're outside the city. <laughs> Temujin, Temujin, here. Let me camel you. And I think we're all covered in mud at this point, so I'm coming at you with a big huge glop of mud. Ah, that's so nice of you. Give him a mud pie hat. Just like Alright, Adder, we're back in your broken territory. How about uh you might want to get us away from the tower or the city or the whatever this is. I think it's gonna go bad. Smell my wrist up uh, like forty five seconds. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, you're pretty calm, Abder. <laughs> I start all, running. <laughs> I'm always pretty calm, friend. That's one of the secrets to my longevity. Do you have to touch everyone for that thing to work? Of course. I do not believe. Well, so. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, Ab <laughs> looks a little confused. Like, if you touch yeah, everyone to. to work, like, are you wearing your new cloak? <laughs> Got pants on over there. <laughs> like, Up to willing uh, one hundred ninety nine willing creatures I can see. <sighs> all right, all right. Don't worry, after next thing we find. It's all yours. What's <laughs> his <laughs> next thing? Yeah, he's got Jack. He, whatever, he's cool with it. He doesn't even have a slimming sword anymore. What? Didn't he have to leave it? Uh, he dropped it in the entryway, but I thought someone picked it up. I don't. Oh. I didn't. I think up. maybe Elios may have done it. Yeah, well, he's dead. Oh. Um, passed me some of those things. <sighs> well, what are you gonna do? Poor flaming sword. Well, we start. Should have scooped that up on the way out. Cool. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll give him some a magical item. The tools from that guy's pocket in the uniform <laughs> have the screwdriver of holiness. <laughs> it makes holes. <laughs> <laughs> bah, bah, bah. Okay, you guys moving away. About 10 minutes in, you hear a horrible noise behind you, like almost like a peal of thunder. It's this horrible, like, snap, crack. It's loud, it's like clapping. Basically, it's the atmosphere filling in a void. Mm. <sighs> Can we see <sighs> from this point? What about you five minutes into the swamp? <sighs> Want to take a peek? No. <laughs> the fuck do I care? What it looks like? Room. No, you can't just go flying up and everyone see you, you dumb bastard. <sighs> It's just I use an imagination. The th- the timer went off. It doesn't matter. You can't tell. Are we still running? Uh, you are. <laughs> Roll! I mean, I waddle. <laughs> ching, 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 ching. Here's hoping that distracts everything. Everything and then some. I'm in the mood for. Let's see what. what. This says odd, so I say evens. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> evens it is. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Fuck you. <laughs> I knew he'd betray me. Yeah. <laughs> this is all you do. I think we haven't rolled above a five other than your oh, natural so 20 good. so far today. Yeah. So. Did you just base our whole campaign on a die roll? Yeah. <laughs> it's not the first. 
I do it like three times a game. <laughs> so, we got evens. I mean, we did it. We did it. You <laughs> did it. Phew. <laughs> To the library. <laughs> <laughs> we just <laughs> checking things off our to-do list. Nailed it. Sa- Nailed it. Saved the universe till the end of time. You think the time's uh, passed? No. What? You do? Do you think the time's passed? Do you think the time's passed? Yeah. That's what the fucking calamity was back there. Hope it if took it the pass. Then we did it. It's from Sane. Where'd you send the... You had a choice to send the city somewhere. Uh, Oren. Sort of. I put my hand on his shoulder. I, we sent it to your moms. <laughs> <laughs> he does not have multiple moms. Why would you say you sent it to his moms? Are you I real? There's an apostrophe in and there. I start like uh, smacking you on the... Are you really real? It is good to see you again. I'm really bad. Did you blow up a mountain? Oh, maybe you didn't see it on your from your perspective. You, you might have killed all of uh, Tamat's family when you pushed that button, and everybody else within about a hundred miles of that underground city, the great ancient city. <laughs> I know what I did. You fucked the police that were down there. (laughs) (laughs) That was the last time I saw you. (laughs) You You have some balls, Orin. I'm really sorry about that, Tomot. It was deemed necessary by Morgan. The city was lost. Pretty easy for him to come up with. What's necessary, seeing as he doesn't have a body. It's okay, Orin. After seeing what this tower was like, it was probably necessary. Which I figured he'd at least punch me or something. Would you like me to? I <laughs> might want to wait until he rests. No, just do it. Splash. <laughs> 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 let's, let's wait until you actually deserve it. Just one. I deserve yeah, it. He. Uh, he. Burned your... <laughs> it's okay. You don't help right now. I'm trying to get him to go along with your plan. Mm. And speaking of which, Temujin, how are you feeling right now? I'm not a witch. Mm. You've been acting very strange. And I drift up away from this weekend. <laughs> I'm not a witch <laughs> on the flying broom. <laughs> <laughs> Orn, Temujin has been very strange lately. Is he not always strange? That seems about par. Yeah, what course. the fuck is this all about? Yes, you've been talking to yourself. That seems very unlikely. Mm. He's been talking to you. Also, this here octopus, he's a great listener. Mm. Just tell us, Temujin, what is going on? Uh, right now we're fleeing a godforsaken swamp to go find old man Masi, who may let us into another one of these fucking towers yes, called the library. Why do we need to go to this library now? I don't recall the reasons. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it was because the elf man's little prince was in trouble. Was that all? I believe your uh, the there person was... you've been speaking to also oh. informed you that there was... Hey, Mr. Oz. Hmm. Yes. Who is this Oz? Are we still running? Can we sit down for a little bit? True. What do you say, Abner? What are our chances? My short, stubby leg's getting tired. Well, I think probably we should find some place to hold up for a little while. Maybe grab ourselves a spot of rest. Mm. Anyone got any food? Well, I didn't bring any back with me. I got some bread I can loan you, friend. In okay. fact, you could have it. I don't want it back. <laughs> I was about to say. That'd be mighty kind of you. All right, yeah, let's, let's find a... 
crevice where all five of us could hide. I'm thinking probably better off up in the tree. Seeing as how we got that fancy flying board, uh, we can go up one at a time and nestle up someplace in the branches together. Hmm. Well, yeah. Fair enough. If mm. that's the best case, then that's the best case. Yeah, we got to find one big enough for these two blokes. And there's plenty of big trees out here. Do you think of all those? You said there were cattle bleep us at that entrance. Mm -hmm. I think they went with that thing. Mine would hope. Well, maybe if we get up, once we get someplace a little further away, mm. we can maybe fly up and see what kind of view we have. See if it right. takes things. But uh, you don't want to, didn't want to draw their attention in case we were not far away. Alright, up we go on a tree. Up we go on a tree. Alright, I'll go up first. I'll send the board down. And then I take a leak. On somebody? Yeah. Not actively. <laughs> Random direction. Okay. Yep. So what exactly are we doing at Old Man Mossy's then? We gotta get past him. Gotta mm -hmm. make a deal. Yes, but... What is the goal? We go down into the library below. It's filled with magic and crazy bastard things. And, in case you haven't noticed, we're on sort of a quest to save the world. And this will help us. Yes, every one of these towers we can get rid of. It's got to help. Hmm. So, originally we were just going to go and get a little bit of information or what's it but uh now that we no longer care about some dying prince in a desert we could just go fill our pockets make it the whole damn thing go boom boom maybe get rid of the old man Massey while we're at it yes that's what i want to do that's what i'm talking about just 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 crack a doom right in the middle of the map mm. <clears throat> Sure thing. We're getting good at blowing them up, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, this time we didn't have to sacrifice one of us. That's correct. Hmm. I think of you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. None of us died this time. Abner looks at you guys like, I'm back. I was praying. Sorry. Did right. Did we have an elf with us when we first got here? <sighs> You forget, the way, you forget easily, friend. Before I left, did you guys, um, did you ever figure out those maps? Maps of... Uh, whatever they were, those blank parchment. Of... You remember Spark that, my memory you remember that scroll case I gave you? You gave it to... Who did I give it to? Did I give it to you, Ox? Uh, yes. probably, yes. Did you oh. ever figure out those blank parchments and scrolls and everything? Well, was that the I mean, things that I, I, I drew I had all the, over? <laughs> I had the uh, thing that could see invisibility and stuff. Did you ever take a peek at them? I think we did when we first look, got it, but I don't... Hmm. You never did. You put the monocle on, you're like, sweet. And then the story moved away from that eventuality. I thought before I hand, he handed it to me, though, that they looked at it. That's why I didn't look at it. No. Oh, okay. No one looked at it. Then no. What do we... No. I thought about? I told you that before I left last time. Well, we were saving it for a special occasion. We knew we were coming back. Yeah, that's a special occasion right let's now. Let's take a peek. Uh, also, let's just go ahead. It'll be a great time to jog my memory and remind me of what the fuck you're talking about. Remember the scroll case that blocked people from divination? It had the amulets in it. <laughs> it, has uh, those in there. it has something like that in there. Yeah. Right? Yep. There was some blank parchment. Blank scroll. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, I wrote some obscene poetry on those. Well, let's see what's really supposed to be on them. Okay. So, what you... I put on the monocle and I look. <laughs> okay. You look so silly. I thought you always well, had the monocle. Yeah, on. I think I always have the monocle on. It's just really weird to think of my character walking around with a ladder on his back and a monocle on. It's just like he's one he's walking around lens. with a broom. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's a, it's it's a, a hoverboard. It's a dirt devil. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of think of it as a dust buster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for a gnome. Mm -hmm. It shrinks down dust, for it. Dust <laughs> oh, that's great. 
Okay, so you pull it out. What are you looking at first? The uh, scrolls or the map? The scrolls, I think, is what you prompted me for. So grab those. Yeah, everything. Let's see it all. Oh, yeah, first, I yeah, just drop trow. So yeah, scrolls first, I guess. Okay. So um, yeah, I'm very chipper mood today. <laughs> now, remind me when you guys when you guys got this stuff. It was a caravan of were they, they weren't keepers. Were they seekers or um, wardens? I don't think we've met wardens. Okay, so they were seekers. That it was the scroll case from the caravan swap place, right? Mm, this was way back. Way back. Set the caravan on the way back to Rost. Mm -hmm. Oh, then I don't know who that was. was I Jackie. thought we got it from the gnomes or halflings that were. No, we got it from the caravan. Was it? Okay. So if we got it from the caravan, that was when the trolls were swinging the dead bodies around. Yep, yep. But they were seekers, right? They had so, medallions on them. Yeah, they had medallions on them. Okay. All right. So yeah. So you unroll one of the letters, and it says, um, "Oh, I need my phone," which is where? It's right there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's right in front of me. I need my glasses. Yeah, where are basically. The glasses? <laughs> You're gonna be that guy. That I old need guy. the name. I am gonna be that old guy. <laughs> Um, dear Natalie, it's just a letter. Yeah, I'll read it out loud to them. Okay, so it says, like, Dear Natalie, um, I hope this letter finds you well. I am sending some messengers with one of our annotated maps and some other secret missives to members of the Order. Uh, I hope that you can get past the area that's being infected with blight. Those stupid... Um, keepers have fouled everything. They found a gate and moved it, and I pray they don't open it. But if they do, the blight will only increase. So safety on your travels, and beware the altered. And it's capital like A L T E R E D. Uh, when you get this message, be sure to give Baxter my regards, and let him know that, as always, I am in the dead of the Balder family. And then it's like um, your uh, your fellow disciple Jandar Netheridge is what it's signed. So who is it to? Baldr it's to Natalie from Jandor Baldridge. She's indebted to Stephen and Alec Baldridge. <laughs> Jandar Netheridge is the person who wrote it. Oh, uh, where is Natalie supposed to be at? Does it say <laughs> Natalie? Hope she, of hope she made it. Just Natalie? Just, yeah, dude, okay. Natalie, blah, blah, I'm saying this You message. know what's so funny okay. is we've had these on us the whole time, and Josh has just been, like, punching himself in the face every day. He's like, I gotta go way back. At one point, I even remembered what they said. I had, like, this plan, and now it's all gone. It's is that, are they in the city that we destroyed? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, go to the next one if there is another. There is another one. Uh, and it just, um, it's a scroll, and you can tell by looking at it that it's magic. Can I tell what scroll it is? You'd have to sit with it for a long time to be able to tell what it, spell it is. I'll sit with it for a while. So you just stop right Ox. there and are staring at the scroll? <laughs> what the fuck are you oh, doing? <laughs> we're doing this uh, in the morning while we're up in the tree? or Yeah. Yeah, you just spaced oh. the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, snap out of it. Mm. <laughs> this appears to be a scroll. I would have to t spend some time with it to find out what it does. But... What was the second guy's name? What's up? Something Baldrick? Alec Baldwin. Baxter Baldrick. Baxter. Uh, so there's another note to Baxter. To Baxi. Uh, dear Baxter, you should know that the Keepers are getting closer to finding a solution to the gate that they have. The puzzle that has yet eluded them is almost cracked. It seems that our time is at an end. Uh, I pray we never see, we never um, see the return of the Wardens. Your brother in arms, Jenner Netheridge. And then there's a map. Okay. It's what a, does the map have? Is he playing both sides, mm -hmm. this Jandar? I seen. Or am I misinterpreted? I didn't hear all of it, sorry. You bastard. <laughs> Still got water in my ears. So, um, 
it's a map of your world, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you can't read the language that it's annotated in, uh, but there's different like places of interest that are marked on the map. One is in the swamp. One is underneath. Oh, what was the name of that? The Dwarven Town? Oh, in the mountains. Yeah. In the jungle. Bertrandalore. Bertrandalore. One's in Bertrandalore. There's one uh, in the desert past the mountains. But there's just like these spots speckled across the globe. Okay. I think these so are these are ours. You guys can't see any of this. Yeah, I'll point out to where they are and mention that I, I was also thinking. Well, let me see. Us. You just, just trace <laughs> it. Trace trace it so we can see it too. Actually, can you just. Um, Requires attunement. So we create the image that you see. Yeah, I can do that. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Do then, we? yeah, he can. He just projects it right on the map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's that's a really good talent. So, oh. uh, you have a uh, for the uh, items I make for the day. Oh yeah. You have the goggles of night and the plus one weapon. And I'll wear a cloak of elven kind. You have the belt of chastity. I'll give you a plus one armor. <laughs> Actually, no. I give myself plus one armor. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> Keep the cleric alive. You bunch of greedy bastards. I say, well, I'm flying around on my surfboard. Yeah, right. <laughs> and goggles of night are just... Um... Gives you dark vision. Okay. Oh, and... Uh, just... So when he shows us the map... Three days until the Eryx. So these must be all the towers. One in the swamp. But there's two in the swamp. Were there two dots there? No, just one. Was it... Where we are? The city moves. So, there's one where the library is. So that's where the library is at? How many towers are there? How many were there? Count 20? them out. 21. Oh, no. oh there's no way oh. we can move. We are 10% done. <laughs> <laughs> it only took two people's lives. <laughs> That's, yeah, that is certainly, I guess. I think that if this would end and only destroy 21 people, it would be a blessing. Mm. The first one took down many more lives than that. <laughs> yeah, I think if you're pretending that it only killed 21 people so far. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just talking about the people that had to we have, die to make it happen. We have two cities gone so far. Three cities gone so far. Hebner's just kind of like ear hustling shit, but he like... It's like, mm -hmm. So what's the plan? We just go to every tower, destroy them all? Well, it seems like not the worst thing we could do, but... Yeah. What do you think the other tower was for? This one, it seemed like it was a trap, maybe, for you? This a one, resting place? This one was a... Yeah, it was a, a burial. Uh, the physical essence of you or something was buried here. Kept physical. sedated. Yeah, well, technically it's his body, but it's not really his body as far as I can tell. They only kind of die. It's closer to sleep. Did we ever figure out the purpose of the first? Uh, you would be the only one who knows. You went in there last. Your last scene. You didn't remember those parts of the conversations that you had with. <clears throat> I don't really know why what? it was there. I just knew that what was in there infected the city. It was getting out. And it was taken over. I'm, I'm just hoping that we stop the infection before it spread. Well, I don't think we. He doesn't know. Um, about that. Or we're, no, we're good. One hundred percent, you did it. Uh, ten, All right. Ten, like, what about your friend? Oh, uh, he is my friend. No, no, the one that you were sneaking around the city with. That was a uh, glint. What about glint? Here comes the terrible reveal, people. All right, so. <laughs> Not everything died in the mountains. 
No, you didn't die. No, we got away. Along with one fella who acted as our guide. We... Mistakes were made. <laughs> and he was infected. He died. As the infection left his body and spread. In a new town where we more or less kept things under control for a little while and then we were asked to leave <laughs> because we weren't doing the, the best job of it. No, we had to come to the swamp to help Elio. There's, there's a lot of layers. The things in... The things in Glint became uh, kind of like what we were calling a slad. And everything was kind of mutating a bit and things almost got out of hand. But due to some very quick thinking and a lot of positive vibes. And a lot we of child murder. Able to. <laughs> Abner looks really concerned. Keep, He's just like. Oh. We're able to keep the citywide desolation to a minimum. <laughs> and yes, we had to break a f fair few eggs to make this omelet. Oh, right, kind of a little bit. Uh, instead of Elven, Elven kind, I got a cloak of the manta. Because Elven kind is attunement, the cloak of the manta is not. Okay. So you stopped the infection too? Well, by my reckoning, it wasn't just one person that was infected. That would have been something we could have salvaged. Pardon? When I did what I had to do. It was pretty much just us that got out. And one of us, well, to be fair, more than one of us was infected. But we weren't able to cure them all. It's what spread a bit. And so we got some clerics on the job. I put my hand on your shoulder. Don Quixote did not make it. Right, he was just a donkey. We tried to help the people of Frost. Well, we did help the Ross. people of Frost. Frost was the first. They uh, were, then they were uh, over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they probably... We tried to help them. Well, <laughs> and they wouldn't give our donkey back right away, so I stole it, and then we fell down the mountain, and, this, and the, the donkey, donkey did not make it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Come, donkey, Quixote, jump! <laughs> A lot of bad things have happened. I know you were found of the donkey. Yeah, this is the donkey. What's our end goal? What's our final... Survive as long as possible. That's what That's all mortals do. What's your end goal? Well, I was sent back here to do what we just did. We did it. <coughs> You're to swim through the towers and whatnot. To get Yule away from here. Although we were supposed to stop him from waking... I bet these things are... I bet they're sleeping. I bet there's one in each of the towers, or tied to the towers in some way. That's like their foothold. Are you talking of the gods? Yeah, yeah. Kind of. The gods that dreamed up the gods. Mm. And what shall we call these people? I, I, I mean... That they're not people even. They vaguely have intelligence. They're they're like they're like a plague. It's, it's like the fabric of reality. They're they they are too big to understand. Whatever they are, they don't care about us. They don't care about this planet. They don't want sort of. No, not I think so I think they are interested in the planet. They're, yeah, they're doing their own lot. thing. Well, sure. They want to consume it. Well, yes, that's what I mean. 
oh, you meant like care about the planet. They don't care no. about the planet. <laughs> no, no, we are. Uh, I mean, we're. we're I like, really hold this. We're like meat over a fire. Over. They're they're waiting to see if we're ready or not. Mm. And then I, we kill these for one, guys. I'm not ready. We'll kill all of these gods. We'll be known as the God Killers. Every time we go to the towers, it's really a terrible place to be. Oh yeah, we're fucking bad at it. We need to prepare a little better. Sure. And that's why we're. That's going what to... I told Elio last time. But that fucker, he don't listen to shit. <laughs> So this the next elf. library. The library, yeah. Library, whatever it is. What kind of god could it be hiding? I do not believe this one is hiding a god. It is not on the map. It is not a tower, I believe. It is on the Ooh. map. It's on the map. Oh, it is on the map? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, the symbol that... So not all the symbols for points of interest are the same. <laughs> Hmm. And it has like a different symbol than the towers. Okay. So you so, can say that. Yeah, I will say that. It seems to be different than the towers. It is a different symbol. But there's like six different kinds of symbols or five different kinds of symbols. There's like, you know. But the tower is the only thing I recognize. Yeah. Those are the ones where you're like, oh, I've been there. I know what that is. Mm -hmm. So what were these symbols? I point to the ones we've already been to that were towers. You've only been to one that's on the map. That was the one under... Right. The mountain. And then that's the one that we were just back from. Right? How many more that's of those symbols are Oh, it's are not. There? There's okay. 21. There's 21 How many towers. Of the towers are there specifically? Oh, uh, like the exact same symbol as that? 12. And it's not one from where we came from? Under this, the, the dead city. So of there could be more than 12 because. Zorks or something. Oh, yeah. Because that one wasn't. That's not on the map. Okay, so there's at least 12, but up to mm. infinite number. Did we ever figure out the purpose of these things? Mm. Uh, I mean, they are powerful ancient technology that we don't understand. Maybe the we can ask old man Mossy this question. Who is this old man Mossy? All right, yeah, and we're going to have to have a talk. Old Man Mossy, correct me if I'm wrong, is an ancient, powerful leader of the hungry. And devours more and more, gaining their intelligence, learning, growing. Well, he, he's Ur's first child, so to speak. Like Ur's all, first child. All Ur. hungry are children of Ur. Ur Urthogen? Urgothen? Urgothen. Urgothen. Yep. Urgothen. He's the hungry. Right. Another one. Well, wait, what? Urgothen? Urgothen. Is Urgothen yeah. one of them gods? Yeah. Urgothen's the hungry yeah. one. Uh, Sarcothagon yeah. is the life mutant Your friend here ain't never met the hungry. I don't think he understands what y'all are talking about. Well. And easy. So we have Yule. <laughs> <laughs> How many right. do we know so far? How many do we know? Well, Yule or Gotham? Yule or Gotham? Have we heard any others? Um, Oz. Yep. Well, Oslagon is uh, happens to be sorta in my corner. He's helping me out a bit, keeping me alive more yeah, or less, does mostly this. for fun. <laughs> like, he gives um, you the raised eyebrow. Sarcothagon. She's the. The one who was making all the chittery, fucking extra life force bad things, the mutations. Um, up in the one of the cities, there's one, well, I don't know for sure it's one of them, but there's somebody there called the Wise Man that everyone tries to... You know, I remember to, hearing yeah, about him. I feel like he, he's connected somehow. I don't know for certain if he's one of them or not, or if he's... Like a priest of one of them, or a, a scarecrow that looks like one of them. For all I know, it beats me. Quit taking notes on the bad things <laughs> that I remember. It'd be uh, worth looking into. Uh, I, those are all that I know of at the moment. 
Do any of these symbols mean anything? To you? To that language you speak? Hmm. Yes, this is where I banged your mother. (laughs) (laughs) Come, let us adventure, guys. No, not really. I mean, there are static representations of what, you know, the elder speech, like the deep speech stuff, it wiggles around and does stuff. And Hmm. so looking at it as part of the actual thing, right? Even if it was in deep speech, you're not going to make sense of it if it's not all wiggly and weird. Oh, so it's like trying to... Norm, instead of a GIF, this is a static picture of it. It's broken. Right. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> it's not doing the thing. <laughs> right. <sighs> oh, I can't see. Just trying Actually. to make sense of it all. Doesn't seem like there is any right now. It's not really about sense. The tide's coming in, and we are just fleeing for the shore as fast as we can. Staying ahead of it. Well, we're also pushing back. <laughs> well, yeah. But it doesn't seem like there's many others that are pushing back. Oh, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe we've been chosen to. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pro- probably. <laughs> <laughs> we're obviously the A team, but you never know how many of these squads there are. Could could be dozens of us. Hundreds or of thousands. Sir Carthus, or whatever that. Name was. And the what? Sarcotha. Sarcothagon. Just had a foothold recently into our world. Uh. Yes. The mutations, the things have all mm-hmm. just been happening recently. Well, well. How do we push them back? I don't. First, I can't say for certain that it's just been recent or that it's local. We don't know that. For all we know, her essence, her mutation, is what drove all evolution on this planet. Is there one of these symbols around Rost? What? Can you put the map up again? Rost. Rost Yeah, there's no symbol around Rost. So the closest symbol to Rost was the mountain? Mm -hmm. Maybe that was Sarcothagon's foothold. Could have been. Seems as good a guess as any other I've heard. The things that we found there, that there were some tadpoles, those were the things that did get inside and, well, they did quite quickly change our dear Glint. And then they were rampaging through that other town. It seems different. The, uh, The tadpoles became something inside of the thing and burst out. The uh, the goblins grew extra limbs and eyes. They're mutating the creature, not bursting out of it. Yeah. I would believe that they would be different. Could be. Or some all-powerful god entity in charge of growth and mutation and abundant life just kind of had more than one thing up her sleeve. Could be possible. Actually, the hungry. Hey? They were always hungry. Do you remember that? They were always stealing the meats. Food. That's all they wanted. Uh, I mean, yes. I imagine there's kind of an overlap. I don't know if you, if you know anything, but... I, I would guess that they're, yeah, they, they, one quickly follows another. The, uh, the hungry seem to become what they eat, so therefore it is more like the goblins and the orcs because they would just have to eat something chitinous to become like that. Oh, what if that's it? When, when the hungry... Uh, devour things, they take on the intelligence and the other traits. Maybe, perhaps, that's what's going on with, you know, the those the extra limb things. When they're off eating grasshoppers or whatever it is they find in the wood, that's how they end up with those crazy bits. 
Adder's like, I don't, I don't think it necessarily worked that way. <laughs> the hungry are just the hungry. This is all too mind buffling. Well, anyways, we should get to that library. Yes, perhaps library. What were you going there for? We're not. It's debatable. <laughs> I think we were there. It's a repository of knowledge. Who sent you there? And the details are so blurry. You guys are talking to Saul, and Saul knew about it, and he was like, hey, maybe you're going to find what you're looking for here, because I don't know how to cure your prince, but this is where I would go if I needed to learn an unlearnable thing. I think Oz so also pushed us in that direction. Yeah, probably. Learning, this is where we find... Oz definitely wanted you to come by here. This is where we find the plan to solve all this. With answers? <laughs> well, I don't know if there's <coughs> answers so much as... A map. Could be answers, could be more questions. But here's the thing. As you've said, old man Mossy's going to require a deal. Aye, that he will. And I hold my horn really close to we myself have right when you said something that. Something that will get us in. Uh, what is he going to want? He's going to want your mother. <laughs> I hold my horn really tight. <laughs> he wants life to devour. And that there is perpetual life for him to devour. No, friend, not you. Your little trinket. Tutor. Do not call it a tutor ever again. It does not teach, therefore it is not a tutor. Telepathically, I say... I need you to make a copy of the horn. And we're going to swap them. We'll beat old man Moss. <laughs> we will not have to get... Me and the Erics will beat him. Listen. Ain't no one ever beat old man Mossy. I tried a long time ago with some of my kin. And it didn't work out so well for them. And if you think that you're going to march up into his house and tell him what time it is... I think you better go, best go on your own, son. Mm. I won't be going with you. You're just looking to die. He's the oldest, meanest, nastiest thing in the whole fucking swamp. And every time he's won, <clears throat> he's he gained stronger. Their intelligence. Among mm. other things, like size and downright fucking meanness. Mm. I cannot wait. To smite him. Well, you guys, boys have a good time. You're going that way. <laughs> uh, well, well, we don't have to be so hasty. We're gonna we're gonna convince him along the way. Serve it, but I uh, we are absolutely open to other ideas if we've got him. How about your brew? Let's take a take a peek. What? No offense, but that's not gonna feed him. What about the robot? You're always looking to get rid of the robot. <laughs> eh, this <laughs> bug's getting himself rather useful. Also, no offense, but you don't look like good eating. Not even to me. All right, at this point, Abdur's climbing. You look confused. You think he looks good eating? <laughs> Abdur's climbing down from the tree by himself. <laughs> <laughs> what about this drum? That very expensive and precious and then, bardic I, instrument. I, I put my hand over the skin. So much money. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> we don't need to draw that much attention to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that will pay for... Can we just not bypass this creature? We don't know. We've never been. Not if you won't get to the library. Is he like guarding the entrance? In a manner of speaking. Oh. Well, if there's another option besides fighting, we should take it. That's what I'm saying. How large is he? Let's go experiment. If it takes a silly little horn. Large. That's what you mean. Very large. So in mm. a manner of speaking means he like is the swamp over there. He is very large. And the library is not on his back or anything, is it? The library is below. In his tummy. No. <laughs> You'll see. I don't know exactly how it works, but there's a round thing out there. 
and it kind of pushes down on all the stuffs around it. And old man Mossy, and he likes to hang out around there. Hmm. But if you're trying to get in, he's the only one who knows the way. Well, let's go have a chat. All right. If you think he's up for talking. Well, only if you can make a deal. He'll make a deal. Well, what if we walk away and say we need time to think about it? Uh, that he's gonna part of the deal. Yeah. We either give him something, or we are the something. Yeah. You get one chance to make a deal. And if you don't come <laughs> to some sort of agreement, <laughs> somebody's getting eight. The slowest among us. Lawrence, <laughs> 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 think about that one real fucking hard for a minute. Uh, That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's proceed then. And we'll find out what happens. How far away I is this prepare old man? Retreat. <laughs> I'm kidding. Right, no shit. <laughs> About another day and a half into the swamp, if we go full steam ahead. Well, full steam ahead. All right. I'll get you there. When we get to the clearing, if we don't have some plan to make a deal, I ain't going with you. I Sorry. thought we just said we're going to give away this silly little horn. I blasted that in your brain, you dumb bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to. No. Yes, we'll give him this drum. He'll love this drum. Such a good drum. Well, let's start with the drum, and then we'll go with the horn. I don't think you understand what I was talking about when I said you get one chance to make a deal. One. And if you don't like that deal, he needs you, and your friends, and probably shit your stuff too, I don't know. Last time he ate one of my legs. And I was the lucky one. Does he eat everything? Son, he's the original hungry. wonder if there's something that we can find that's just not too good for you and you eat it. Well, I don't think that that would bother old man Mossy one bit. Maybe we could go look for your mother. <laughs> Shin Shinola, he's stupid. <laughs> we'll have to use it to our advantage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, day and a half. Come on. All right, so we go. Right. Abdur can keep you guys away from most of the nasty things in the swamp for the next day and a half. He'll get you guys out of Catalupa's territory in another half a day. They're all dead anyways. Mm -hmm. What do you think? So have we passed a day? I mean, you could, yeah, we could just say nothing really happens. Hmm. Nothing really happens. Okay. So you guys tree again for the evening. Mm -hmm. So All that right. means two days until Eric's. Right. So then, I mean, you guys will sleep in the tree again later on. He finds a large cypress. Occasionally he'll push a snake off of it. You don't really think we could take this creature? No. No chance. Not even a little chance. I mean, what kind of chance are you talking about? Like, you know, a snowball's chance in hell? No, more like a 50 50. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> point I, don't, I, don't I don't think so. Odds or evens? Son, son ha, have you not been hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth? I'm just asking. Well, I've been trying to tell you. Now, if you don't want to hear me, that's up to. You and Yorn, but... Me and who? Your fellas. But, look, there ain't nothing nice about old man Mossy. He is the meanest, largest, nastiest thing in this whole godforsaken swamp. You guys thought finding a couple of cattle bleep was hard? You have no earthly idea what's about to happen to you. I've been trying to hold my tongue in. You're not commenting so much upon the wisdom of your escapades, but I'm telling you something. You should be prepared for what is about to befall you. And appetizer or not, he'll eat you too. Don't think he won't. Your, your ability to make a um, fabrications look just like other things. 
Does that require like a full setup? You have to go to it, like a forge and whatnot. Or you just do it. Right. At some point, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna let like these two be walking and I'm gonna pull you aside. Like, <clears throat> you saw the horn that he made. I need you to make a projection of it so that he can make a copy of it so that he can make an exact replica. That way we can try to do the old switcheroo. I don't think we can just convince Tamat to give it up. No, that's what I mean. You're going to have to make a replica of it. You can make a projection. Mark should go in with the drum. Two distal Eric's. Two distal Eric's. Two distal Eric's. Have him trying to shush you. He's like, shh. We don't need to be. We don't need to be telling every motherfucker in this whole place where we are. All right, we could be kind of circumspect about our positioning yes. and shit. Abner, you'll be so excited to meet my brethren from Valhalla. Uh huh. I will be there soon, probably. <laughs> yes, and then when I blow my horn, you will show up, Abner. I don't think that's probably true. Can you do it? If you get me eight and you blow your horn, the only reason I've been coming down here is to kick your god shaking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to make the switch? Can experiment with that once we have it. All we gotta do is get him drunk. Well, that isn't hard. He drinks everything that's in front of him. Exactly. Drink some swamp water and while he's shitting himself, make the swap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, you guys are on your last leg of the journey. You have half a day left. You're moving down. That's, so. that's why I'm mm -hmm. trying to push for it to happen. <laughs> It'll have to be when we rest. It takes an hour. All right. I think we'll go, someone got to keep him distracted. Can you do that? Take an hour to get him drunk. Um, for alcohol. Yeah, it's like we don't. I don't think I have any alcohol. Um, let us see. Is anybody hungry? I'm a, I'm a bit hungry. We don't have any meat. We've been eating cat of nine tails and whatnot. Mm. I say this. Cat tails. We stay here for two days. Let, let the horn recharge. And then we, we meet old man Masi. We blow the horn. And the Eric's show up. And we all take them down together. What if? So, if like he that. wants life, if that's all he wants is a trade. Mm -hmm. I believe you said that blowing this horn will just summon these things. Why don't you just trade them? No, Not the we horn will. itself. Just trade them. Because you, you get up. one time, that's, that's lowballing him. That's saying That's, low saying, that's saying, more men than us. Yeah. But right. if he Andrew's doesn't like, like the trade, I'm done talking. You crazy motherfucker! If he doesn't like hunt. the trade, he's gonna <laughs> eat them. <laughs> oh, I want to go. Then hunt. he's gonna eat us, I'm gonna go hunt so with that Andrew. he right, still gets hunt. the horn. I don't want to hear no shit about your Eric's. Mm. Yes, so, we'll hunt. All right, we'll hunt. All right, we're gonna. What go was hunt. he gonna plan to trade right. in the first place? Okay, come on. He walks off. We didn't off. have a plan. <laughs> All right. He didn't right. have a plan. No. You want to roll survival with advantage? Yeah, I do. So they're gone hunting for a little while. Alright. It's too bad I didn't so take the alchemy jog. Time. Time. We need to make a... We have like a... I mean, they're gone right area. now for a little while. They're, they're, you guys have stopped. Did he leave everything? Look at that! Look at that! Was your natural 20? Natural 20. Nice. Did he leave the horn behind? He all right. He's <laughs> probably got that wrapped around his cock. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Not wrapped it's around. Not where the horn goes. <laughs> Blow the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you gotta blow so the horn to call gone, the Eric's I would right. like to make a fabrication of the horn. All right. I mean, if you guys have been planning this, have you been trying to lay eyes on the horn so that you could reproduce it, the image of it? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. So perception. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Man, well, that's he gave it to you for free. 
Okay. Uh, you got see. it. 19 plus... Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so oh, you can... minus one. 18. Still good. <laughs> he could reproduce an image of the horn. Yay. For you to copy. Do you have to have the original? That looks like a yes. A me. duplicate of a non magical item. Oh. Bummer. Can't do it. Fuck. <laughs> I could make a non magical horn that seems like a replica. Well, of yeah, that guy. actually, is your projection a magical item? Well, I could just make something <laughs> that looks a lot like it. Maybe sure, it's not going to be an exact replica, but he ain't going to notice the difference. So, do you have smithing? <laughs> this is absolutely. How much you roll it? Can I help him? Sure. Guidance. <laughs> yeah, go for it. So roll the damage and guidance. You still fuck it up, seriously. Strength? Uh, I'm going to go with wisdom this time because what you're trying to do is... That's the same as strength. Okay. 23. Okay. Like 25 with my... You have guidance right there, dude. Yeah, so that's 16, 20. Mm -hmm. Three with my wisdom and two with my proficiency. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. So you can make something that looks almost like an exact replica. It he isn't even gonna know the difference. A good deal of scrutiny to figure it out. He walks through this this world aimlessly. He just jumps when you say jump. I will say he would know exactly that it is not working if he tries to blow it. Well, well, that's true. We got two days for that. We don't need to wait around. Yeah. Are any of you particularly quick with the old nimble fingers? Nay. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. I got sausage fingers. <laughs> Abner's gone. <laughs> like they're hunting. He's keeping them distracted for you. All right. <clears throat> well, uh, he has to sleep sometime. Got to sleep sometime. Uh, are any of you particularly good at lying? Aye. Uh, you are? Okay. So here's what I'm saying. You, uh... Well, while he's sleeping, we need to... You can blame it on me. That's it. Here we go. All right. Temujin's going crazy in the middle of the night, and he stole the horn, and he's trying to run off with it out to old man Mossy, and I'll be carrying your fabrication. And then when he wakes up to check, he'll say, no, no, no. And this is where you tell the lie. He swapped him. He swapped him. He's got the real one over there. Eh, it's too easy. He'll, he'll see that one. We gotta make sure he doesn't know what's what. That's what I'm saying. That's why if we fail, then he's just gonna hold on to them both. You know better. God, it's not. It's too much. Why does he keep the thing? I think it's under his loincloth. <laughs> I ain't seen it much. Where'd you see it, Ox? <laughs> Twi twixt his cheeks. <laughs> uh, whenever we uh, when we talk about it, he pulls it out so he can see it and make sure that he has it. He does seem to tuck it in the loincloth area. <laughs> I really don't have a loincloth. <laughs> I have pants, but I'm alright with the loincloth. Uh, uh, in the sun, pants? It's like a breezy, swampy, you, muggy thing. You so are I'm constantly right saying cloth. that you don't have pants on. Yeah, so. that's right. Yeah. It's the loincloth. Well, neither does Josh, so. <laughs> you have a loincloth and a metal bra. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a metal bra. You keep right. it with the your hot tits. Hot tits. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a pocket where, where for you hot tits? Your Usually, I think I have it like. On a necklace? Yeah, on a strap? it's like. I, th I always kind of imagine it's kind of hanging low on his He's strap. got it on his strap on. All right. Yeah. Mm. So, if, it, if it's on a strap, <laughs> cut the strap. Cut the strap. Take the horn. Take the horn. Throw the replica near him while he's sleeping. While he's sleeping. All right. Do you have any a magic that will help keep him out when he's sleeping? You mean like mm. knock him out? No, just making him sleep a little bit so he doesn't wake up. We like, can make things. Anybody can't sleep. Make it That's what easier. He's, <laughs> he's like, can we sleep the barbarian, please? The best idea. <laughs> Not today. No, no, tomorrow, in the first thing in the morning. No, you have half a day today. You're a few hours out from Old Man Mossy's right now, guys. And we're two days out from Eric's. So he wanted to wait around anyways. Uh, 
Okay, while you guys are out hunting, you catch like a massive bull gator. Oh, yes. And the two of you wrestle it down and kill it and are dragging its carcass back to camp. I yank out some of its teeth. Okay, you do that. <laughs> I take some of the blood and I put it around my face. And I draw like an alli- like an <laughs> I draw like an alligator <laughs> face oh, with his blood. <laughs> <laughs> Abder, you are you are the best to go hunting with. All right. <laughs> Here, mark yourself with this creature's blood. No, thank you. I I would rather not. I prefer not to do that, friend. You want to wait till tomorrow? Mm. Well, it would be easier to convince old man Mousy. If we could show him. Well, here's the thing I'd have to sleep and then sleep again. Because I have to prepare spells and then we have to get him while he's sleeping. I mean, you could prepare spells and we could make him take the first watch so he stays up late and then he has to sleep that last bit in the morning. I never take watch. (laughs) Well, (laughs) he's fucking on it now. You know, it's about time he he pulls his weight. Okay. So they're going to get back to camp at this point. You hear them coming. Sounds like a ah! do 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 Little ways outside of camp by will to come down to it and throw it in the muck and let the swamp curs have their due. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, well done. Yes. Axe, okay. please prepare this gator oh. for us. Would my cooking utensils work for this? <laughs> cook the gator, go ahead. I know you want a cooking you, you get, dude. Yep, I gotta do <laughs> it. Turn it into fill my cup with Gatorade. Uh, what would I use for this? Would it be intelligence? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this Judge. game. Uh, <laughs> oh no. I get a lot of fours, uh, but I do have uh, oh. plus. Oh wow, it's plus nine, so 13. Okay, so yeah, it's not bad. And you oh, can, Julie. like, you can dry a bunch of it too and make jerky, gator jerky out of it. Okay. Oh. You make the gator jerky out of the balls? No. No, you don't. (laughs) (laughs) This has been a glorious day, gentlemen. Indeed. We've been hunting. Cheers to you. Yes. Cheers. So now I'll retire. Abner, do you want to go hunting again tomorrow? Retire? It's noon, (laughs) so. Oh, shit. (laughs) I mean, are we going to go to Old Man Mossy's or not? Well, I don't imagine we need to be there right as night falls. That can't be the best idea for us. We're about two hours out. Hmm. Maybe three. No, we should wait until I can summon the Eriks. When will that be? Not tomorrow morning, but the one after that? Yes. How big is this territory? Are we in it now? I mean, more or less. If he wanted to come find us, he could. He probably knows we're here. We're two or three hours out from the massive sinkhole that is his abode. Mm. Massive sinkhole. You'll see. Well. Um, So telepathically, I'm going to zap him with the plan. With the steal the thing plan. Mm-hmm. We've made a duplicate. Mm. We're going to give him the swapsies while he's sleeping. He's going to hold on to the duplicate. We're going to present Old Man Mossy with the only way for us to get to going. And that's the plan. Shake your head if it's the worst idea you've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, what? I'm like, Let's go with that. 
So you're saying you want like one more night? Well, it's two days to Eric, so I need to sleep. So you're saying you want like one more night? Or two more nights? Two more nights, yeah. That's it. You want two more nights? Yeah. Sleep, sleep, sleep in here. Yes, and then we'll summon the Eric's and smite that old man Mossy. Um, yeah, how about we have a little friendly wager? Yes. Yeah, okay. So uh, why don't you come on over here? I think we're going to wrestle. And if I beat you, oh. we go now. Oh. And if you beat me, then we'll see what happens oh. tomorrow. But we'll at least stay here for one night. Yes. Yeah, all right? All right. Yes. All right. Well, let's put your stuff down, friend. Put oh, your stuff down. Yes. <clears throat> oh, and I started putting his stuff down. <laughs> Take everything off. Yeah. Take his ass, <laughs> see his ass. Full on. <laughs> in, in naked wrestling. Naked oh. blood wrestling. I mean, he's in his pants, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I still got the gator blood he's on, not. and I slapped, <laughs> some mud, I slapped some mud on myself. He rolls up his undershirt. I put all your stuff down. Oh. And he he's like... Yes. Do it. (laughs) All right. I'm not that smart. (laughs) That's why I'm telling you, do it. Oh, are you telepathically telling me? You're going to have to tell me. Yeah. I was like getting all ready. You're like, wow, a fight. (laughs) Don't go easy on me because I'm not going to go easy on you. Fair enough. And I rage. Okay. You're going to rage? Yes, I'm (laughs) raging. (laughs) Whoa. Okay. (laughs) He just sees this bloody faced, muddy. Goliath in front of him. Okay, and so he screams lunch. in your face too. Rawr. All right, he's a troll. So we should roll <laughs> initiative. initiative. Yeah. All right, we swap. Come on, baby. No. <laughs> no! So they go easy on me, and he's like, Rawr! and grabs you and pile drives the shit out of you. <laughs> you the one. Yeah. The one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he like is gonna Get pick you up. Foot stuck. Fucking in wham! Pile drive you. So, how much damage would you do hand-to-hand if you had a strength of 20? What do you mean? Six. It's one plus your modifier. Plus, if, uh, well, how much damage for raging? Oh, eight. Two plus two for raging? Mm -hmm. Plus two for raging, yeah. Okay, all right. So, um, what's your AC? Without his armor? Yeah, 15. Bare ass wait, wait, naked? Are you naked? Oh, yeah. Actually, it's I am. just your con modifier. So, oh, and your dex. Con, con, con dex. dex. But then I got that feet were, if it's I don't have, un- under defense. So AC 10 plus dex plus con. Right. What's so, your con mod? So you're like 15, right? So dex would be plus zero and con is plus two. 12. So 12. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, he's reckless. He mean, he's going for it. Sure. Ugh. <laughs> That's horrible. But he hits you. <laughs> okay. So basically, he grabs you around the legs, stands up, and pile drives you for uh, what five, six, eight damage. Slam! You just hear like so. He's not even trying to pin you. You just hear crunches to my head. Goes into the yeah. Well, so is that. Goes into the <clears throat> loam behind after crunch. If you wanted to speed it up, you could just throw out the half damage for both. We could. Since they're both taking half damage. We don't have to. I mean, we're going to keep going until someone falls down. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Well, uh, you're raging. so I'm on my, raging. So on my, my back, I, I'll, like, kick my feet up and kind of do a somersault then, and then I'm going to just, like, kind of, like, jump and do it. The flying yeah. elbow? Yeah, I'm going to drop on my elbow, yeah. Okay, well, he gets two attacks. So that was one oh, attack. Okay. All right. <laughs> right. Damn it. <laughs> And then once he has you over there, he hits again. He so he pile drives you back over his shoulder or suplex or whatever it is, and then he's gonna like take two steps and then come back and elbow drop uh, on your spine. Damn it! For eight more. I don't want to do that. So there you go. So he got you. So Bam. four. Yeah. You're projecting, man. He saw what you were about to do. Go ahead. Okay. So um, I I'll just get up and start bashing his face in. All right. Go ahead. Reckless. Oh my god, that was almost horrible. Um, so wait a minute. You hit. Did you do a frenzy rage? No, I just raged. Okay. Um, two so two d six plus. F- wait, no, wait. I just so four damage. So I hit. I don't know what you're doing. You're hitting. 
Yeah. So I'm bashing yeah. him. Boom. He's just punching him? Yep. Okay, slug. I thought so it was a wrestling What, what AC did you hit? <laughs> this is pro wrestling, baby. <laughs> what, 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 what AC did you hit? Uh, it was like a... Uh, 14, so 20. Okay, that's cool. His AC is higher than yours. Oh, bummer then. That's 12. Nope. Damn it. So wait, wait, you, wait, wait. you get him You're once. You're proficient with your... Um, and he ducks and you swing fists. again. Woo. Plus six, so I guess it's... Um, 14. 14. Nope. So you swing and miss. Woof. Actually, he just takes it. It doesn't hurt him. It's a okay. crack. And then he's going to bear hug you and try to crush your lungs. <laughs> I'm going to play you some battle music. You can do this, Matt. All right. Mm -hmm. So take eight more. Did you show everyone your shirt? Eight more or four? Uh, I mean, it's going to be four after you have it. Okay. Do you do four altogether? Yeah. You do six. Well, he does eight. So he's just telling you four. Oh, you do eight? No, no, I don't do, do. You do six. No, I he do does four three damage. plus three plus one is four. Plus My fist two do for four raging. damage. Oh, six. when you're raging, six. So six. he takes three okay. every time. Three. You take yep. four every time. So he so he grabs you and then crushes your you're in the, chest and then he's gonna headbutt you. Wow. Did you hit him twice? Yes. Mm. No, I didn't. No, he you took didn't. one of the blows. Okay, so, so ready? I'm fucking ready. Then let's he go. Come on, let's four more. Four more. So you took eight that round. So you took eight the first round, you took eight the second round all together. It's 16 I can do damage this. I can do this. I'm hidden. Uh, so six is 19. So he has higher 19, 18, yeah, yeah, you hit more him. damage. And another. So three and three. Go back, go back. He regenerates. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> does. <laughs> three, so three. <laughs> so far, Did he's not very hurt. <laughs> I was guys, kind of into it. Are you it, doing actually. it now? You're just watching. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's going to go around and shoot it. anyways. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it. Hit. Okay. So what did you do? He had you up in the air. He was crunching you, and he had headbutt you. Oh, um. I throw him a chair. I <laughs> Headbutt him back? I just, um, like, I break free, and then I grab over and push his arm up. Okay, like, so. Gah! It's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. He lets the shoulder dislocate in the second one and swings around and relocates the shoulder. Ugh. And then he, <laughs> then he kicks you in the Johnson. Shit. <laughs> so take four. Dirty, dirty. <laughs> this fight is getting hurt. Take four to your junk. And then uh, after he kicks you in the Johnson, he knees you in the face as you bend down for four more. So flop, laugh. And he's healing. <sighs> Uh, so he's kind of like above me, so I'm gonna like thrust my head right into the underneath his jaw. Okay. And uh, maybe, so that's uh, maybe a miss. So that's what, a four, or sixteen. Sixteen is is a miss. So you hit him, right? But he's just so tough, he doesn't care. Crack. And then uh, I I turn around and I stun him, like stone cold. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a hit. That's six and nineteen is twenty five. Okay. Okay. So I'm on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to stomp on your face. He does for four damage. going to stomp on your face again. He does for four more damage. So He's just curbing you, dude. Yeah, twice. Flap! Frap! All right, so I'm just going to I'll grab his leg and I'll pull it from underneath him. How hurt are you? 27. Okay. I'm I He's don't tough mode. I'm not able to do it like the first time. Okay. So I'm gonna do it the second time, try to get him on his back. And that's a twenty. You do. Is it natural twenty? No. It was just a twenty. Okay, you do. You flip him out of his back. Um he's gonna mm -hmm. spend half his movement getting up on his turn, and then he's just gonna pick you up and drop you on your head. Ah, oh, it's a pile driver. Ooh. I don't know if he does. I got a 12. Oh, he does. Yep. So slam. And then <laughs> pile drives you again for four more. Double pile driver. He does. You so know those things you put together. over a post to like knock him in? Yeah, he's just like, <laughs> crack, crack. He's giving you a swamp swirlies. <laughs> so adjust my neck. Is yeah. that all you got, pussy? And I'm just going to start trading blows. Blah, blah. Okay. So that's uh, 19. Yeah, you hit him. Scludge. Please, 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 please. No. Nope. 
Okay, so you hit him once, crack, the second time he just takes it, chunk. He punches you twice in the face. He does for four, slug. And he's gonna get you for four more, he does, slug. So, snap, snap. <laughs> that's, and that's what we're, I'm at 11 right now, just an FYI. He only has 11 damage on him still. He's healing you around, so. Natural 20. There you go. You would double dice for that? I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and so he does, I'll be doing six, and so nine damage this time. Nine. Because I've been doing three, so yep. I'd be doing double damage. You only double your die. There's no dice. Oh. Okay. But you did it really well. You did it yeah. well. Right. Thanks, it was dude. so clean. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. All right. We're not um, going to have to worry about him not seeing. We're just going to wait until he is knocked the fuck out. <laughs> I mean, I already swapped. He him. just headbutts you. Man, for I four. Hero. <laughs> and then, oh, natural 20. So he headbutts you for four. And then he takes his fingers with those crazy troll claws and jabs you in the eyes. Oh, he gouges the eyes? Yeah, like, so oh, off. what a dirty dog. <laughs> <laughs> He what a, have a dirty friendly dog. wrestling match. Oh, my God. You gotta go like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. He has long fingers. Slap. Uh, <laughs> so I'm at four damage. But like, you have four life it. left? Yeah. You're hurt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I guess, I guess I'll just be going down to the knees and doing your thing. Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> I mean. Your turn if you want to keep going. Yeah. I mean, we'll go until I'm knocked out. Okay. So I guess so. Oh, f dirty dog, and I... Concho him? I, I give him the old Johnny Cage. Oh, all right. <laughs> Rough, dude. Uh, six and 12 is 18. Yep. yep. Okay, great. So I Johnny Cage his ass. Ugh. And then... <laughs> I'll punch him in the throat. Okay. When he's like, Holding so I'm himself. kind of on the ground, so I'll Johnny Cage him, and then when he like goes down in pain, I'll... Yep. Punch him in the throat. Okay. Uh, for your 20. 20 okay. Hits. So you hit him in the throat. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be it, just an FYI. <laughs> yeah. So he's like holding his throat and he's holding his nads. And so he grabs you by the arm, by the hip, and just swings you face first into a tree. Fair enough. Kersmack. And he does. He does. Slug. <laughs> And I just kind of do like the Ric Flair, like I'm going over like right. over, <laughs> and then I fall flat on the Scrooge. ground. Okay, wrestling complete. <laughs> that was fun. Huzzah! Okay, so he like kind of limps over to you guys, and he's like, "Well done, well done." You don't think that you can take old man Masu, huh? No. All right. <laughs> like, I'm convinced. Yeah, I believe you now. <laughs> All right, so we made a swap, right? We're good. Yeah, we're good. he's still All out right. cold. Right, Joe, we yeah, had enough we, time to put it back on the strap. Yeah, we can yeah. make it make it look legit. All right, who wants to hold this to make the trade? You. I'm not the kind of guy to be talking. <sighs> I thought you were the one that was good at... Expert liar. Yeah, you were you're the one. <laughs> I'm good at lying. You want me to lie to old man Mossy? Yes. <laughs> I want you... We're going to get there tomorrow morning. And you we're guys gonna, keep talking. I'll be right back. We're going to say, at dawn, you can blow this horn, and the things will go, implying, obviously, that he can do it every single day. Why not? Make him even more likely to pass. Let us get in and out. What if he sees that I'm lying? What if he can tell? No, you're not lying. You're saying at dawn you can do this thing, and that's the truth. The lie is what you're implying. Mm. You can't spell imply without lie. So you're you saying is we lie with imply? You can't do either. Unless you're talking about a different kind of lie. So here's the thing: <laughs> what are you if implying? if we have two horns and we say that they're identical, and Blow one to show him what it does, and hand him the other, is what you're saying? No, I, I meant to genuinely give it to him. Genuinely give him the one that, that works. works. That works. So then what um, would we be lying about to old man Moss? Well, the only thing 
that could possibly benefit our terms is if we say, instead of every seven days you can blow this horn, it will be the next morning, so you could say, at dawn, you blow the horn, and that is when you summon the beast from Valhalla. So, Abdur said that if he wins, we leave now. So uh, we would be leaving now to give this to him. Uh, I thought if Abdur wins, we were going to have one night. Mm-mm. Oh. Mm-mm. We're leaving right now? Right. So there was no, there was no medium. I thought, that, we'll I thought it was... an hour to heal up. If, oh, that's good. if he waited, or if, if he won, we waited one day and see what happens after that. Oh, if right. he wins, we go now. Well, so, then yes, we're going to probably have to explain when it works. And I believe the best way to demonstrate it would be to blow it in front of him, which we cannot do right now, and then hand it to him. The same one. I don't think there's any problem with him understanding what it is you're offering. Okay, as soon as we hand it over, he'll know. When we tell him... I'd, he'll probably know what most of us have on us when he sees us. I mean, he is probably far more intelligent than anyone gives him credit for. He's eaten more brains than you have hair follicles. And he nods at the dwarf. <laughs> the hairiest That's one. That's not possible. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. So, I got a lot of hair. Everywhere. <laughs> That's what I figured. <laughs> Speaking of a lot of hair everywhere, are we going to leave him face down and ass up in the mud? I'll Maybe roll over so don't choke on it. Kick some over. Anyone grab like a marker or something yep. to draw pictures of Roll as many dice as you want to. I would be rolling all. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be rolling them all. <laughs> all right. <Nope. clears throat> All right, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so you got it? Yep. So I will say that I think that's a very him. fucking idea. Bad, bad, bad fucking idea. Well, you to have it? Yes. Well, then who should do the talking? I, I vote you. No. <laughs> you don't know me very well, do you? No, I, I do. That's why I think that you should be the one to sacrifice yourself. <laughs> 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 Oh man! All right, I'll All right. do it. I'll do it. I got this. You're you haven't nominated me as your king for no Pretty good reason. I got it. <laughs> That's a good one. So three. <laughs> oh, man. It's just doing shitty. <laughs> Is it real bad? I think I have. It's whatever you roll plus your con modifier. Yeah. When you roll a one, it's not that many. Oh, no. I got, I got one more. And I'm going to you your ass, I guess, during that fight. How you looking over there? 38 of 59. Ooh. You're good to go. <laughs> Just rage and you only take half damage. This is why we don't fight old man Lawson. All right, so. That's probably a good over there. we chose not to fight. Mm. I've got the little drum. Do, 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 do. Right next to you. <sighs> Help it out, I miss you, Wait. Wait. Did I win? No, you lost. I must have his hand out to help you up. Uh, yes. No, you. The loser always helps the winner up. <laughs> Sorry, friend. You got your ass kicked seven ways from Sunday. Mm. Still a little bloody. Yes. That's I can all, see. I'll get your blood on you. That was. That was fun. Yeah, uh, you gave it a good go. So we leave now. Well, yes, just as soon as we finish eating this alligator that you got us. Excellent. I'm I'm stuffed, but you didn't have enough time. I had about <laughs> an hour to eat. So I go over there, and I just start ripping off whatever and eating. Sorry. Apology not accepted. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Facebook, please don't... No. 
Jibbity Jabba. Will you pick up bread on the way home? Kind of. <laughs> As you pick up a drain snake on the way home, there's a pukey face, and I'm like, sorry, I'm not going home. I'm going to get cigars with your brother, because that happened. Yeah. <laughs> so, whoops. <laughs> okay, so I sorry, I missed the last little bit. Let's go on. Um, he's eating gator. We woke up. Okay. He's eating Nothing. gator. Nothing. <laughs> you didn't miss well, anything. Well, missed no things. Well, right. he woke up. We don't go to bed, right? No. no. It's middle of, It's noon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, now it's like one. Yeah, right. But, so yeah, Abner so puts all this stuff back on. He's like, you ready? It was an excellent fight. All right, let's, yeah. go, ahead. let's go meet this yeah. old man. I'll see. So I go over <laughs> and I pick up all my stuff. Cool. Yeah. I don't know if anything's out of the ordinary right now. I don't think so. Okay. What's your perception? Um, Perception's plus three, so... Thirteen? No. Nope. Okay. You see a horn, you're like, yeah, horn. Uh, I raise it up in the air. Two days and tell Eric's my friends if we were just waited. But no matter. We have Abder. He's strong. We'll be able to take him out. No problem. We're good. We'll be able to talk our way past this old man, Mossy. We're going to make a try. We'll get inside. And once we're in, then we don't need to worry about getting past. We'll be able to. There's going to be plenty to fight inside the tower. Yeah. Plus, you got it out of your system. You got your ass kicked, but you got it out of your system. Yeah, it was, it was good. It's, it's good to focus like that. It's like jerking off before a date. Mm. You don't want to go with a loaded gun. I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> I am satisfied. <laughs> you got you to fight before the big battle. Okay, what about... <laughs> what about Mary or... What? The movie? Beats me where I steal these things from. They're all just floating around in there. <laughs> I know I don't make the it's, it's a Ben Stiller movie. He shoots himself in the ear, and she's like, "Oh, you have some leftover hair gel," and does there's, this. There's something about Mary. Something about Mary. Yeah. Mm, yep. Yeah, there's something. Is that one? Yeah, she got spunk in her hair. Oh, nothing like taking a nice piss after a good wrestling match. Why are you pissing into that brand new drum? I don't know, but we never <laughs> filled the craft up. Yeah, That's I was about to say, bad. how come there's no more coffee? Coffee. Mm, that's bad news. <laughs> Don't need no more coffee. I'm wired. I'm ready. Mm. Okay, so what's going on? We're going to start going. All right, so we start going. We start going into the mob. Okay. Mesquite is a bright in. When we get there, we're going to let him go do the talking. We'll have to okay, so you guys are back. walking. And at this point, the, the swamp is kind of like there's a lot of cypress trees and other trees. And it's kind of like it feels sort of close. Right, like it's a foresty swamp. And at some point, as you guys are walking through, all of a sudden the forest falls away and there's this huge sort of clearing. It looks kind of like a really shallow lake, right? So there's like water, it's like ankle deep in places, but there are kind of holes where it's deeper. Um, and there's a couple kind of grassy hillocks that are pretty small that rise up here and there. And all the way out, in the middle of this vast body of water, you see something hanging in the air above the lake. It looks kind of like a big soap bubble. Should we stay here? Are you going out? Oh, we'll we'll stay, stay far back. Well, we still got a fair bit of walking to do. Oh, it's this about, isn't it. It's about an hour's march out to that there spot in the middle. Mm. What is it? How deep is it? Well, varying degrees, depending. There is a trail that will get you there from here. There is a trail for walking. Yeah, mostly, it's only slightly submerged instead of all the way submerged. There's a few different trails that lead out. Only a mossy don't need them, but we will. Then lead the way to glory, Hector. The uh, breathing underwater, is that something that you do naturally, or is that a spell? That you can catch? It's, it's something I do naturally. It's the, not the water that'll harm you if you fall off the path. Yeah, just stay on the path. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Now listen, we, don't, we ain't going out there to start no ruckus. If you are going to be a problem, 
I'll kick your ass again right here and leave you. <laughs> so, I ain't gonna do it. Abner, we're not going to fight. You have satisfied me. I told you so. <laughs> I told you so. It's exactly like I said. <laughs> you gotta have time so, to recharge. We <laughs> can't just go right back into it. <laughs> you really give it to me hard. <laughs> I can't deal with this. <laughs> How did you ever deal with this? <laughs> I, I wasn't to Mott when he was. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right, hold on a second. You're thinking about it now, huh? <laughs> Let me just enjoy this moment real quick. So, uh, <laughs> don't think of the pink elephant. <laughs> right? <laughs> Or That's strong. what they call it nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> I have this cut on my leg. It's, it's really good for it. Oh, God, the dog, yeah. <laughs> That's weird. He was weird. Well, oh, four of years, I guess. <laughs> right, so uh, he's like, we ain't going to start a fight with old damn Aussie. And if you start getting ornery with him, I'll push down like a bad dog. Yes, we'll be fine. Okay. All right, he starts leading you guys into the the vast, watery clearing. And what you notice is that, like, he's walking along a path of sort of more raised earth under the water, and every now and then he has to, like, step across or step down, and he'll slosh up to his armpits and then climb back out onto what looks to be mostly only slightly submerged, right? Like... I don't know, half a foot below the water level. So he's navigating from hillock to hillock. And it looks like at one point before this was all flooded, it might have been like uh, a place where there were rolling hills or kind of like, you know, a couple of valleys that converged. But now it's all just underwater. So you're walking along so what yeah, would have once been a ridge line, but is now just submerged. When did this place get flooded like this? Well, it's always been flooded as long as I can remember. That's interesting. It's kind of a lake. Is it weird? All right. I'm. I mean, I'm not even getting wet. <laughs> yeah, you're like. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just hovering. I'm just float on the broom now. The hoverboard. Whatever. <laughs> okay. So as you guys get closer, what you Sky see is surfing. There's this massive globe. It's like, uh, I think fireball sphere size, right? It's like 40 feet across, 60 feet across. Like that. It's huge in the middle of um, the whole kind of watery hole or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but underneath where the globe sits above the water, because it's not actually sitting in the water or on the water. So it's, the globe is flying? Floating. Okay. And the water underneath it does this. And it dips in the exact same um, sort of dimensions that the globe has. Almost like the globe is pushing down on the water underneath it. Even though it's not touching it. Even though it's not touching it. Hmm. Also, uh, I mean, there's like sparse trees and stuff like that on some of the hillocks around here. And there's two trees that grow near the globe. And they curve around the shape of the globe, only larger, right? So there's a sphere of influence that it's... Kind of, it's bigger than it is, or it's it is affecting the world around it in a way that doesn't match with its actual dimensions. Oh well, it's ominous. It's all you, Dumbledore. As you guys get Different closer, to do that. Abder starts oh. to slow down. You guys are pretty close now, and what you thought was this one of the massive trees curled around the globe starts to move away and turn towards you guys, and it's just a fucking massive troll. It's huge. Oh, well, you know what to do with that. Its skin is kind of like, looks bark-like. It's weathered and cracked in places, but it looks harder, like leathery. <laughs> it starts to slowly move towards you guys, or at least it appears slow, deceptively, but every step it takes is massive. And so 
About how high up is it? It's face. 40, 50 feet. Oh, Jesus. It's huge. It's massive. Think like... I think he tried to say this a few times. An ant. <laughs> like, wait, you can't fight that. <laughs> it's so... He's so big. Tomat's like... Right. You need you need him. Him. <laughs> I hold out the horn. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Fuck, you can take it. <laughs> that was it. Oh, I horn. fly up. Wait, take the horn. <laughs> Almost forgot it. <laughs> I would have been better. Really? It'll it'll save us probably. Take the horn, Temujin. This thing is too massive. I tried to warn you. It'll be <laughs> too much satisfying for me. Too much satisfying for all of us. Yeah, none of us will get any satisfaction from that. So old man Mossy comes up, and he's like close enough now that he's he could reach anybody. Oh, jeez. All right. And he kind of squats down. You hear like stuff creaking. There's like moss growing off of some knotty protrusions that he has. He has branch like protrusions growing out of him. There's like moss and stuff on him. There's like lichen growing on one side of his face. And he kneels down and he says Who are you? I am Temujin Padraxis We, And I come Not you, Servant of Oz. I know of your stink. Who are you? We are the God Killers. Cox's massive head. <laughs> yes, yes, go with this name. I love it. What gods have you killed? Well, you don't need it now, Coach. You might as well fucking roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. <clears throat> Can we change that name real quick? <laughs> yeah. God sleepers. <laughs> so I just kind of like you know came up with that on the spot. We haven't really uh, killed any gods yet. Uh, this is Orin. He came back from the dead, and this is our robot Axlander. And you know, after you ate his leg once. <laughs> Abdur looks <laughs> pretty freaked out about the whole thing. Like he's like, "Oh man, this is a bad idea." Uh, Mossy's like, "I know you, son of Ur." He's he, he's talking to you, Abdur. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Abdur nods. You're also. Uh, am I allowed to talk? I. He, well, her. Never yes, mind. slave of Oz, speak. Well, oh. Uh, Rather, uh, Ar- arboriferous one. Well, we would like to propose a trade. His brows like kind of furrows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm suddenly really want to make tree puns, but I will hold myself back. <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! Yeah, right. <laughs> <Slimp>. <laughs> Like Boards like <laughs> <sighs> we come seeking access to the library below and heard that you are both the gate and the key to such a place. I am the keeper of the way. Once there was another, but I ate him, and so I inherited his duties. Duties. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, Tim. Do you, you, laugh? Good. Do you yeah. giggle? <laughs> no. I I know he's laughing behind my back, and it, it does the stupid thing where I'm laughing at a funeral. Stop! No! Not now! Not now! Would you be willing to? Arrange passage for us to this library and then back out again. Mm, You wish to return once you visit. Well, that's always the hope. I guess. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Son of Ur, you know the rules. Do you have something to trade? A deal to strike? 
Abdur dies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Uh, at the wise words of the son of Ur, we have come prepared. One that we hope you will find very pleasing. It is the greatest gift of all. <laughs> Please stop helping. <laughs> <laughs> You say you have the greatest gift of all gifts. What is it you bring to me? If I find it wanting, I will eat you. This horn may be blowing once per week. Can you pull out the other horn? <laughs> you have two of them now. Uh, <laughs> left. Evens. He's doing evens. <laughs> okay, good. I'm like, no, this horn. <laughs> See, pull out another one. <laughs> What? Yes. This horn is... <laughs> you probably think I'm faking him out now. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no, tell me. Horn. What is Once going per on? week. Two horns. At dawn, this horn can be sounded to call forth living souls from Valhalla. An endless supply of that which you desire. Food for my children. For you, for your children. I'll leave that up to you. Is that all you bring me? We also have this drum. <laughs> <laughs> this drum. <laughs> Is that the bardic instrument? Yeah. <laughs> Which may be of use to someone else that you meet along the way and would like to present a gift to. You can re-gift it at your will. <laughs> <laughs> he looks kind of confused for a minute. <laughs> and he's like... <laughs> oh, sir. Yeah. Of sir things. <laughs> he's like, I give gifts to no living creature. We, uh, you, uh, I accept their gifts in exchange for their lives or I consume them. Well, the, the, the true hope was that this would suffice for passage and the drum is merely an expansive way for us. It costs us a great deal, though it is a trinket to you to express our gratitude. Is that all you bring to me? Uh, uh, or give well, him something. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> that hoverboard. <laughs> you can't just gift something that I doesn't belong to you. <laughs> <Do you really? laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Didn't I tell you to stop helping? You fucking ground dwelling pieces of shit. Give him the ladder, maybe. No, the what? He's fucked. <laughs> the ladder. <laughs> I'm just whispering no, this. Don't, <laughs> don't show him the thing made of plant corpses. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm? It's on your back. <laughs> oh, ladder. Right. Got it. I would have your offerings now. He holds out a massive hand. <clears throat> I put the horn in it. <laughs> I'll. Put the drum in it. Okay. Is this all you have for me? <coughs> Is that like a trick question? No. Uh, let's not get cute there, fat one. Just ask Just, him. if you have something, give it to him. If not, roll the fucking dice. <laughs> roll the dice. That's... It's, it's fate. Boring. Look at me. <laughs> the die of fate. <laughs> if he doesn't eat us, and you don't give him anything. I got this cape. <laughs> the cape is about to make in his hand. Yeah. Okay. You don't know if that'll do anything for it, but I appreciate you coming through in a pinch. Do you have anything, man of the future? Wait. Mm -hmm. There's another one of them things called the future. You got the Ur, the Oz, and the future. The future is just things that have not yet come to pass again this time. 
Unfortunately, most of the things I have are things that I can make magical, but they wear off after time. It would be of no use to you. The, there is one thing I can part with, although I do not know how useful it is, and I'll give him the Band of Loyalty. Band what? Of loyalty. It's the thing that when you put it on and you die, you're dead. You don't do saving throws. Oh. I have not found no use of it. I hope it will be more useful for you. I have no wish of your gift. Take it back, man. <laughs> okay. Get it the fuck out of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Put this what? on, please. <laughs> Shit. Okay. That's amazing. You bring me no gifts, then. Son of Ur, what do you have? And you see Abder kind of hang his head for a minute. And then he goes... Careful, you my <laughs> Yeah, he goes, Who's got a sword? Anybody? Sharp long knife? No, I only have my maul and one of these hand axes. The axe will probably do. Mm. Uh, give it here. Mm. Take, Take an axe to a tree. All right, he takes the axe and he turns it against his left shoulder. Oh, and then you see it. him, like, swing the axe into his shoulder a few times and, like, grit his teeth. And he cuts his arm off and puts it in Old Man Mossy's hand. I mean, the stakes have been raised if you want to contribute. <laughs> he's fucked up. He's hurt. There's, like, <laughs> blood loss going on, and he looks kind of white around the gills, so to speak. He's got his hand over it. I mean, it stops bleeding after a little bit, but still, he looks fucking bad for it on his knees in the swamp water. I mean, pretty much everything I have is mundane. I give him the ring. Give him the ring. I don't want to call it. Starts to close his hand. Uh, I mean, unless he's a magic caster. <laughs> can, they, can, they, can they break your eyeball, sock it off? <laughs> the monocle. Oh, I suppose the monocle of seeing, yeah. That's something that... I'll put that in there. <laughs> okay. like, Give him the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> throws it in before it closes. Like, All right, so it's slowly like, bloop. <clears throat> he nods his head. You see him pull his hand up and like vines and stuff grow over the gaps in between his fingers and turn it into like one solid knot. Hey, how come I had to give him two of my items? You didn't. And Tim and Jim didn't give him anything. Light kind of shines out between the cracks for a minute as it seals up. You nominated me as leader. <laughs> this is what you get, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> and then he stands up and he, he says... <laughs> That was great. Why did you wish you weapons? You just give me shit. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> now, I will prepare for you the way, but be aware when you reach the library, there is not sufficient energy left to power it. One among you has a device that will do this. And he steps aside, and you see, like, Flight of the Navigator style. Part of the orb, like, drifts into steps. Hmm. And there's an opening. He says, I can grant you access to the foyer, but if you would be transported below, you must use your item. Oh. Yeah, yeah, wow. Thank you. What, what, uh, what item is that? You start going up. Yeah, Abdul. <coughs> follow behind. Although he's clearly super hurt. We'll let the smart ones figure that out. It's what, what Let's items get inside. <laughs> maybe, we'll, maybe there'll be a spot like... Run. We'll figure yeah. it out. Put, <laughs> put hammer, giant hammer here to power. Maybe we'll get it figured out. Right. When you return, I will need something more <laughs> to grant you access away from my swamp. Find something in the library. Bring me a thing. And you can leave with your lives. If you bring me nothing of sufficiency, I will consume you and the knowledge you gain therein. Well. 
All right, you guys scurry in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. The steps kind of start to reform in like Quicksilver. Abder, you sold me that this would be good for both ways. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's... I lost a horn and okay. I lost my like, drop. Abder's like hardly conscious. He just cut his <laughs> arm off. Grow dude. it back. <laughs> Maybe like, he can give him uh, another arm. It takes time. I think that's sufficient. <laughs> we'll just give him <laughs> time and just broom on the way out. Uh, perhaps I was... To be honest, I was going to give that to... Well, never mind. I guess it may be all that can buy our freedom. So we'll touch play. nothing but the lump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. no In this case, we're touching everything because touch the lamp is what's going to be. So you guys can see in the dark, right? You can. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have goggles of night right yep. now. Oh, so. nice. So everybody can see in the dark. <coughs> Sweet. So what you're in is like uh, the top of the room seems spherical and the floor is like flat and it's covered in Elder Ruins. Uh, but they're not moving. And when you guys walk in, uh, the wall just to the left of the opening forms into what looks like a receptacle that will fit the item that you have uh, that transmits electricity. Yep. Staff of Thunder and Lightning. Mm. I figured that he was talking about me. Mm -hmm. You have a butt ton of magical items. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's I, got rings, he's yeah, got wands, got wands, he's got rods. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have any... Oh. It's like, I can't give you shit. Sorry, yeah. dude. <laughs> like, you took the wand of ma detect magic, didn't you? I got that. You got that. You've got, oh, you've got the, the rod, rod of, of security. security. Yeah, you're all chintzy over here. No, I'm giving I, I forgot to add the rod of security. Okay. Yeah, I don't I have like, anything. I was like... damn it. I, I mean, that's your judgment call, so, but yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> I feel like he's gonna notice. <laughs> I was thinking if he's a magic caster, the staff of thunder and lightning would be good. If he's, you know, ring of spell storing would be good. He gives a flying fuck. He, can, <laughs> he <laughs> consumes it and breaks down its primal essences. He usurps the power of the items for his own. Hmm. Who said we have to come back out the same way? I don't think we should try. We should get see if the other way out is better. You still got that rod, too? Yeah. Although that doesn't transport us anywhere. Mm -hmm. It'll get us right back where we started. A little bit later. Later? Yeah, maybe he's, he'll be wandering around and not waiting for us. How are you feeling over there, Raptor? Still bleeding? No, bleeding is mostly soft. Do you want to... I do not feel all right. You want to sit at the entrance there? Yeah, I'm just laying up against the wall right over here, if you don't mind. Uh, How just long does like, that take to grow about? Oh, about a week or so. Oh, oh shit. Right. So. Is that there anything long? we can do to help speed it up a bit? No, no. I can't, like, feed you a miracle girl or nothing. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I totally respect you and your life choices. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> you hate your own guy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love him, but man. I, they've never made me so inclined to be a douchebag. <laughs> this is <some> bullshit. <laughs> What's bullshit? Right. Mm. We'll find you a replacement inside here. I, I cast detect magic. <laughs> okay, it's magic. <laughs> We're you inside. Are inside of a magic thing. I hey, said he wanted me to find something magic in there. Uh, something to replace. You know what, dude? All right. Uh, are you do, using the wand? It's just one room. Give it the little plug and play. I don't think it takes a wand right here. It doesn't it, look it, like the right size. The, the, the staff. The lighting. Yeah, the I office. put the staff in already. I you did put the staff in already? Yeah, I put the staff okay. in. The wall closes around the staff. You see it outlined through the material as it lights up with lightning again and again and again and then becomes like consistently lit in the wall. And all of the ruins in the floor start to grow. Or glow, I mean, like grow. <laughs> oh, God! <that> is... <laughs> they start to glow, and they start to move around on the floor. <sighs> and kind of dance and wiggle and do their thing. Is that that deep speech? Uh, yep. I mean, sort of. Yeah. It doesn't really say anything. Only kind of. It's uh, just wiggling. You ended up taking the wand of uh, Detect Magic, right? Okay, so I'm going to remove that from my inventory. And then suddenly there's this, like, sensation of motion. Uh, the out, the wall between you and the outside world becomes translucent, so it looks like you're standing on a platform that's just suspended, and the dome is like gone, 
you can tell that it's still kind of there because there's some hazy interference, but uh, it's an image being like uh, sort of broadcast by the wall of what's outside of you. Mm. And you go down fast into the water. Spoof! Does so, it fuck with gravity? Or yeah, like you guys look, like, you, you feel like, like on the top? <laughs> yeah, oh, you're on the board. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're like, full smash! <laughs> you hit the ceiling, <laughs> and mm-hmm. the orb rapidly descends. You guys all feel like super light for a second. And Is there air? Inside the room, yeah. You guys okay. are still in the room. Gotcha. It's a bubble. But the wall just became transparent, right? Okay. And so, whoop, it sinks. So when we went underwater, we didn't actually go underwater. <clears throat> no, the whole thing goes underwater. The whole sphere. We're inside a yeah. sphere ship. Right. We're a submarine. Well, it's moving straight down. Uh, you know, as it moves down, what you see is that, like, the whole... Because you can kind of see what's going on in the water a little bit, right? It's lit, and it's, mm-hmm. uh, like, there's light coming from it to illuminate the area. And you see, like, a few different ridges moving towards this spot in the water. Um, and then towards the middle, there's just, like, space. And it's moving down into that space. And so there's what looks like large cracks and crevices and canyons moving away from the spot where this thing is sticking straight down into the depths. Mm -hmm. Uh, But there's nothing really to impede its progress. It's just a straight down shaft. Mm -hmm. Below what you see is like this large sort of, it looks almost spider-like. And it's like a, a large structure below you as you get close to the floor. And you'll sink through the top of it into the structure itself. As you guys sink through, the walls peel away from the sphere, and you're left on the platform, and you're sinking into a large, dark, open space. All right. Some time left. So all you see is the floor that you're on. (laughs) It sinks into like a depression in a much larger floor and locks into place. And it's just dark. All right. So this is the library, huh? We should probably find the keeper of the library. The librarian. I don't know if that's what we're I really about. hope there is no librarians. <laughs> that's got to be bad. But you're on the right track. we got to find... Something down here that will justify our getting back out, and hopefully something that will justify this entire trip. It got uh, a little bit weird when uh, Ilio didn't make it. It's sort of spawned from him. It's definitely good, though. I think. Why you keep looking at me. I think we got. I mean, yeah, does he remind you of Ilio? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps looks nothing like him. Perhaps in uh, <coughs> remembrance of him, we could do what he came here to do as well as what we came here to do. Oh, sure, put it on your to-do list. What did he even want? Hmm? What did he even want? He wanted a cure for his prince. Yeah, his prince had a disease of the mind and the groin. I believe he said that his dream uh, leaked into reality. Yeah. So we need some, like, diapers of his dreams. Diapers, yes. To keep the dreams out of the reality when they leak. And hopefully also keep him awake. Forever. Not forever. That's just you. (laughs) That's just you. (laughs) Actually, no, I do not sleep either. It is you and me. I, b- I bet we could find a way to keep him awake forever if we really needed to. I know a guy. <laughs> uh, All so, of a sudden, you guys hear what sounds like a fire start. The ground. Do we feel like an air pressure? No, but there's light over to one side of the room. Oh, is your staff catching a fire? fire in there? Hmm? Anything around it? Yeah, that looks like a fireplace. And there's shelves of books. And in front of the fireplace, there's four chairs. You guys are in for a treat. Ah, uh, be respectful. Of what? Just sit down. 
Huh. <clears throat> it's time we made some introductions. So we go. I'll go sit down. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> there's four chairs, not five. Uh, there's two? five. I guess there's oh, five. Okay. There's one for Aberdeen. I grab a book. I grab the one in the middle. Okay. <laughs> you guys hear like this isn't the library, guys. Slow clap. Good job. Good job. Yes. You hear like something large move in the darkness. <laughs> And then you see, like, the shape of a man uh, in robes kind of come to the edge of the light. He's like, you have done so well. You didn't think I'd get here, did you? What, here? Yeah. No, definitely not. Yeah. In fact, you wouldn't have without my help. What? Yeah, that's right. That was this odd. I mean, two, two times? Yeah. Two, two and a half, Somewhere maybe. Yeah. yeah, right, okay. You, you, you've helped me fudge <laughs> the numbers a bit. Yeah, he smiles. All of his teeth are sharp. And he has too many. In his mouth. It's not disconcerting. Oslagon? The group. What? The group? Oslagon. The library. It's my home here. Wait a second. Yeah. Knowledge. Uh, experiments. Right? Come on, put it together, man. So. Wait a second. So this is the actual physical place, but not. Is this still you? Be in I the mean, fireplace? Well, you know, I'm kind of playing with things a little bit while you're here. Perceptions, whatever. Yeah. All may not be as it seems. Objects and mere baby closer than yeah. they appear. So this is why I didn't tell you guys. It's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You've been... This is the man you hear. And you talk to him. Uh, yes. The man he hears is here. Hmm. He hears. Here, here. So all of these places are like little toe holds that we can get into this world or is, that we are left. Is each one different? Like the, the last one we were in, the, the Zork land. They're whatever. all different. All that was different. for the dreamer. Yeah, they're I think, all different. I think we got him, by the way. <laughs> and then we kind of blew, <laughs> this gentleman here, um, blew up the one that was uh, your sister's, maybe. I'm not really sure. Good job. Yep, see? I thought you died. Weren't you dead? I told you to leave. It didn't stick. Huh. So Did you bring us here, Tomajin? So interesting. He does this. I think and so. And all of his fingers have like too many knuckles. They're but like, interesting, interesting. I didn't. I don't know exactly if we're in a trap or if this is just kind of part of the trip. A trip, a trap, a who knows? <laughs> Why would I trap you? That I haven't seen. That's a good question. I have no reason to trap you. Why do you, want, has why do you want us here? Right. Why do you there's, want things, us there? there's things you need to know. All of you. John? You've been a stingy little cuss, haven't you? <laughs> well, to be honest, like I said, it's hard to explain. The library is a repository of knowledge. Anything yeah. you want to know, you can know just by sitting in one of those chairs. And there's a little swap of stream of spinal fluid between me and you. No big deal. But... Does that work for me? Oh, yes, my metal hmm. friend, it will. I can crack that shell and get into your juicy insides just like everybody else's. So. 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 So I have gifts to bestow upon you, my favorite paladins of order and justice. I'm a paladin? Hey, that's me. <laughs> it's a figure of speech, friend. I know. Don't worry. Order and justice as well. Yeah. <laughs> but all things being relative, much more orderly and just than most of my brethren. Yep. Yeah. So sit back. We're doing it. Relax. <sighs> Take a big whiff of the pork. <laughs> all right, long pork. <laughs> and uh, let me know if there's anything to do for your refreshments. Uh, I do not require. You got any sunny Sustenance. D? <laughs> I haven't seen the sun in a long time, <laughs> nor do I wish to. Yeah, that's right. Mm. It's not very good. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, are you trying to send me a signal? <laughs> me? Are, are, are you doing like I? Like... <laughs> I'm not Anne Frank. I don't speak that crazy. <laughs> that's <language>. not me. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not know. time of genetic secret, secret symbols. <laughs> no, that's Helen Keller. 
<laughs> oh, that one too. No, she can't. She can't see sign language. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the one I was thinking of. <laughs> so, um, so you are about to have a singular experience. No one alive has ever received anything like my gift of knowledge. Uh, but I will teach you one thing. So think on that. <coughs> what one thing do you wish to know? One thing. Basically, in game mechanic terms, he's going to give you plus two to any stat, and he's going to give you one skill of expertise, whatever you want. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> one skill <What's> you <laughs> You said one thing. Well, well, yeah. Like, if you want to know about like how to cure what ails the prince, you could have medicine or arcana necessary be one of your skills, right? So you do get to pick one thing, but then you're going to tie a skill to that thing and then learn it and or have expertise in it. <coughs> mm. And, um, you call these gifts. What do you mean by that? A gift is a thing one person gives to another person. When no strings attached. <coughs> I mean, sometimes. No. All the time. A gift. Do you have relatives? Do you have like, do you guys have like a Christmas here? Something like that? A holiday yeah, we where you give gifts to each other? I do. Right? There's definitely strings attached, friend. If you get Uncle Henry socks and he gets you a new set of armor, you're kind of on the hook for next year. Don't tell me you're not. The older you are, the better the socks are. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you something. And later on, I might ask for you to re-gift. And that's okay if you say no, except for you. <laughs> you have to say yes. But, you know, everybody else can make a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Temujin, maybe we should leave this place. What are you talking about? If you leave here without <coughs> anything, you'll be... Yeah, first, we got to get some sort of a gift for him. Hopefully we can get a little something on the side, enough to get past old man Mossy. You got any pointers on that? Leave old man Mossy to me. We, well, I would love to. I'm not going to lie. I also can't help but notice you're avoiding the question. So you're just going to send me back up and we have to run. We'll see what happens. <laughs> no, I'm... I... You'll be fine. All right. Do we trust him, Tumajin? No, we don't trust him. You don't, it ain't about trust. It's about getting what you need. <laughs> and then jump into the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. But yeah, he's predisposed to warlockism, so he doesn't really see the consequences. So you get to choose. Chair? No chair? Refreshments? No refreshments. Do you got any blueberry crumble? Of course I do. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Don't know what to do. <laughs> Chair and I eat. <laughs> right. <laughs> Something I'm doesn't so feel hungry right after just eating wet bread. <laughs> Capri aftertaste. If he's one of the old If you dogs. leave it till the aftertaste, <laughs> so you he keep eating so you don't get to the aftertaste. Yeah. <laughs> Axe, what do you think? Is there a time requirement on this? It would be best to ponder. However, I'm more th more worried about old man Mossy than sitting in the chair. As you mentioned, the only person who could not refuse would be... Hey, if they bitch out, do I get all their gifts? Do you want all their gifts? Uh, if they're bitching out, then yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> if you would like me to sit down, I will. You are your own person. Abdur climbs into one of the chairs. You'll have free will. I believe Abdur had thought of something that he would want. Everybody needs something. Mm. And I shall sit too. This is the way the group is going. We'll all go together. I've already died once. Death. Such a temporary thing. There's so many worse things than death. 
He looks at you when he says that. <laughs> so are you here in the physical realm? I mean, kind of, right? It's like wearing a glove. Like, I'm not really here, but I am pushing into this space, making an imprint, uh, sort of Why? affecting time space. Why? Why? I mean, there's a lot of answers to that question. Why? Uh, I kind of like it. It's fun. Why? Uh, I like to meddle with my siblings. That's also fun. Why? Sentience was one of my most fun experiments, and I like to watch it run out. Why? Uh, you guys are interesting. Why? Uh, this particular time-space vector happened to seem like it was kind of going to be a thing worth watching, so I showed up here... 8,000 years ago, so I would be here for this. I don't know. You don't even understand half of those whys. But I am. I'm here now. And when we leave, what's going to happen to her? To you? I'll stay here. You like it down here? No. You want to be out there? No. No. Or do you want to be then? Well, there's a whole lot of other here's than here that I'm also currently kind of pushing my way into, and there's fun things going on there too, interesting, you know, happenings. But really, this is just one of the many thousands of steps that I have to take to get where I want to be about a quarter of a million years from now. That's how these things work on a grander scale than, you know, the five of you deal with. You're taking steps to get to the top of the tower. It just takes a million years to get there. Yeah, or more, yeah. So I have been walking on this path for a very long time, making decisions that seem unconnected, even to those of my own kind, to get where I think I deserve to be. Because our actions influence 200, <laughs> 300 years in the future in a way that you would want. <clears throat> Sentient actions <laughs> influence everything. Sentience is the key. Speaking of which, have you guys... Some sort of a grasp on what happened to the dreamer. Do I? Yeah. Yes. So I'm pretty sure we got it to work for the time being. Got what to work? The, the not having him wake up here thing. Oh, sure. I mean, here, now, later, somewhere else. And that's kind of material. Yeah, fuck them. The others. The, the future or the elsewhere. That, that stuff doesn't matter to me. But for us here, that I did it. Sure. Ah, thanks, Dad. Wait, what? <laughs> sure you did. He just laughs a little bit. <laughs> so then what do you want from us? <clears throat> I believe that is part of the deal. We don't know yet. Right now, nothing now. He wants you us to, to sit in the chair. Kind of idea? Sure. Yeah, let's hear yeah. it. Sure. At some point, I want you to say yes when I ask you to do a thing. There's too many variables between here and there to accurately predict with any certainty. Like I could say, at some point, Oren, I want you to forsake your god and kill millions. I mean, would that fit in with what you think of my character? Or I could say, hey, Oren, in 40 years there's a pebble on the side of a hill. I want you to kick it down the hill. Both things could be equally as disastrous and you would never know. Or both things could be equally as necessary for the good of all sentient creatures that live in every universe of the multiverse. And you would never know. So I really hope that you guys just come out of this and you're just talking about it all the time and then you'll understand why it's so hard to talk about all this. <laughs> I believe uh, it would be good to discuss so that we do not ask the same question. Knowledge duplicated is unhelpful since we can teach each other, correct? I don't you think you can teach each other the kind of stuff I'm about to teach you. But having it duplicated would be less efficient, I believe. Do you know what you wish to ask for? Uh, well, I'm trying to narrow it down, but, uh, I mean, 
figuring out how to become one of these guys seems like a pretty good thing. <laughs> <laughs> he said anything. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, hey, go big. Tomat, have you had any thought about it? Mm -hmm. What are you looking to learn? Uh, um, uh... You want to know how to make a great beef stew, I think. No, oh, I was... <clears throat> how to raise the dead. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, you could bring back or make anyone fall in love with you. No, I was actually wondering why we had to save that girl. Mm, that is actually a good question. You're... You know, she seems young for you. I'm not talking about that kind of... No. Nope. I know what you're getting at. Why was the girl in my vision? Why did we have to save her? Did we save her? What's going to happen with her? Yes. We Does that count as one question? We left sure. her with. We left her with the hungry. <laughs> they left her with the hungry. Yes, they did. I know, right? And who trusts Larry and the other Larry, anyways? I look at Abder. Abder just—he's just like sitting there, like. Ender, what are you interested in learning, if you're interested in sharing? Or maybe I'm not, I'm I'm not very interested in sharing things. Understood. not the same type. Can you learn things like how to be stronger? Uh, sure. Uh, that yes. might be good. You I'm not very how to strong. Be stronger. You can make me strong mm -hmm. instead. Well, you know, not stronger, but like, you know, stronger. You get a little bit of boost to some sort of mm. attribute that describes uh, you in this current space-time. Sorry guys, didn't realize I got a crap god. <laughs> <laughs> He's great, isn't he? I sit down. <laughs> I'll sit down. <laughs> I'm sorry, Or. I must know. Why are you apologizing to me? Because I don't think this agrees with your god. I don't know oh, I've known agree. Morden for a long time. In fact, me and Morden, we made a similar situ kind of a deal a long time ago, before he even got here. So I'll sit down and I go, I must know. Ooh. Maybe that's why Morden's so nice to you, even though you're a pile of shit. What would you like to know? <laughs> so look. Pop to the kettle. What? <laughs> I sit down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Time to rock and roll. Oh, so you sat down? Yeah, we're all sitting okay, down. You guys all sit down there. Too. So he does this a little bit. Uh, well. As you guys are sitting in the chairs, it feels like the chair starts to mold to your body a little bit. And just when it starts to be like a, a creepy amount of molding to your body... You feel the chair actually wrap around your head, your arms, and your legs. There's ropey tendrils. If you look down at your arms, they look kind of like intestine tentacles. It's a mimic! Wrapping around your arms. <laughs> and, so drop. At this point, Oz moves around a little more, and you see the darkness behind him shift and move. And it looks like what you see in front of you as a person is just like the tip of all of the organic material in the room that happens to be him. It's like if someone put a little finger puppet of an ant on and was like playing with ants with the finger puppet. <clears throat> There's slurping and kind of moving noises. He says, <laughs> all right, all right, this is where things get good. Ready, set, action. And everybody here, including yourself, feels a mm -hmm. sharp, piercing, intense pain at the back of your skull as something slides through the flesh in the back of your head and in past the skull and into your brainstem. And Brown noted it. <laughs> like, right, right into his, his chair mouth <laughs> thing. He's <laughs> 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 like, oh, fuck. Is that worse? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what stat do you want to plus two to? Well, I would like intelligence. Sure. And what skill? Um. Well, I really would like to understand the path to to turn a mortal into godhood. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm gonna just keep ascending to godhood at hey, the end of campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> That was last game. I don't know if this so is an ascent or a descent. Yeah. 
but I would consider that Arcana. Arcana. Mm-hmm. I take uh, it. I'm probably going to do Intelligence. Okay. Uh, how much has Oren really uh, expressed his interest in my background? Has it been that much? Lately? Yeah. Mm. I'd say lately it's been more focused on Morden. Okay, I think the biggest thing on my mind is going to be Elio's question. I'm going to take up so, the mantle and try to... Medicine? Uh, would it be Arcana over something sure. in his? It could, be. Or, yeah, it could okay. be Arcana. I don't know if it'd be more fitting for history or Arcana. It could be Arcana. Okay. Yeah. Probably go with Arcana then. Okay. Says, I, I guess. Who didn't want to double up on any one thing. <laughs> you know, as, as kind of silly as it is, because I can't take what I want, like a dex or a strength. Yeah, you can. You can. You can take plus two the strength. But, like, my question is to know the about. The question is for your skill. Mm-hmm. They don't he's, have to match up. He's improving you. So that you can better go do your thing. Oh, really? Yep. And then the skill is the question. We were just doing it so that it, it happened to line up intelligence with... But they want have intelligence because they want intelligence. Mm, right. <clears throat> so you want strength, you want constitution, you want dexterity, what do you want? It's not... A barbarian mind. What hits harder? Probably strength. Oh, strength. But I still want to know about my purpose with all the... All those times you missed the troll. Yeah. Okay, so plus two strength. Yeah. And then... I to wrestle better. What skill do you want expertise in? Oh, um, I guess this has something to do with the question. This has some, so maybe wisdom, so insight would okay. make sense, right? Sure. Insight would be good. Yeah. Because it wouldn't be acrobatics or athletics. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. All right. It doesn't it, have it, to be something you are already. No, it can be something you're not trained in. in. You right. can be untrained in it. He's downloading Kung Fu. You your if you're untrained, it goes to trained, and if you're trained, it goes to expertise. No, no you it get goes expertise to expertise no matter what. Oh, it goes to expertise no matter what. So how do you do? Yeah, so hmm. you might want to. You just go blank, ex- blank shell. Yeah, technically speaking, then a blank would be better. I mean, if you're trying to min max. Yeah. So I just get plus six now, since I'm an expertise plus in to insight. Sure. Yeah, are we at three oh. proficiency? You have no wisdom. I have no wisdom at all. No. So yeah, you turn it from zero to six. It's not bad. What do you want? Well, <coughs> strength or wisdom. <laughs> the I'm going to go with strength. Do. Never mind. You can go with strength. <laughs> really? Why are you saying that? You want that? to be smarter, what? you want no, to be what? stronger. Huh? Go with strength. Okay. I just said it. All right. Because I don't know the answer to what the th- issue is with the prince, would it be more religion or would it be more arcana, would you say? Uh, it's going to be arcana or medicine. Okay. My question... Probably. I mean, if you want, I guess we could make it religion. Well, but... I want to fit with what it is, so arcana works. Cool. I think Oren's main goal is probably going to align with Moradin's. Which is, he tasked me to come here and stop one god from getting into our world. So I want to know how to keep them all out of our world. Mm -hmm. The elder gods. Okay. I want to know how to keep them at bay. So you want arcana? Do you want religion? Do you what kind of skill are you shooting for? I don't really care. Okay. Oh, I already have religion. So arcana? Investigation, arcana, nature, whatever you think. It's not nature. They're aberrations. I mean, I'll Probably give you an investigation arcana. if you want. Arcana? Okay. I think I just messed up my character. How? So I have to go to... Because it was like I had to switch it to manual. Oh, uh, I, don't do that. Uh, 
Well, I just did, so <laughs> <laughs> that's why I messed Second it up. Done. If you go into this, you can actually just click there and do uh, uh, other modifier. And oh, just put damn. it there. Yeah, so undo whatever the fuck you did. I tried to. He broke it. Time to remake a character. <laughs> <laughs> Let Oz eat you. So I had what, 15? Yeah. But Glad is going to Do you remember what I. Does anybody Were what? you a standard array? Or you were yeah. a was... point by? So go to point by. Your strength was probably the highest. 15. Oh, I had a zero in dex. My so constitution was. 14. Intelligent was, was a 10. Wisdom was a 10. And charisma was a... Oh, you know what? I can tell you. It's on the overlay. Mm. Nice. 16, 10, 15, 11, 11, 13. That's after... After modifiers. Racial mods. <clears throat> there, I took a picture. Before it changes. And it doesn't work if you just reload your character? What? I'm assuming. So He's this already is destroyed it. A... Okay. Wait, let me go back to that. Yeah, go back. Because I know when you enter stuff, you have to click continue, and if you have a, so that's so a it invalid number, it won't save. And you mm -hmm. just reload your character. And it'll... That's a oh, fork. Where is... Ten. The skill Probably of one. Where do you add? Third uh, so you go to uh, oh, sorry, proficiencies and oh, no, oh, no, skills, and then you just click it, uh -huh. 11, and then 11. you do the uh, the drop down for 15. customize, and then skill proficiency. 15. Maybe eleven, eleven. I took a picture. Skill proficiency level expertise. Enter source notes. All right, so now Thanks, I'm at 13. 16, 10, 14, <laughs> 11, 11, 15. 16, 10... So go up one on the con and down two on the charisma. So how do you do this then? Oh, don't do over. I just go back to your manual. Yeah, this thing's so disgusting. The character. Uh, one on my constitution. Yep. And then what? So it sounds like we gotta get one there, huh? <laughs> it's, it's like, oh man, venom troll. So okay, that makes sense. Fifteen, eleven, thirteen. Uh, yeah, that looks right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So then I just go plus two on the strength. Dude. Nope, and some front fat <laughs> rolls. Yeah, 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 right. So like, what is room. happening there? All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like the belly sagging over the loincloth. Mm -hmm. so like Sorry, a dudes. The belly that's got like black crud so on the inside. Mm. What's in there? I don't know. Nothing good. And if you take a skill? I already did that. Okay. I know how to do that part. All right. So you guys are there for an indeterminate period of time. You don't know how long. Um, but it's like, it's not like you're just sitting there twitching or whatever. Like, you're sitting in a room with someone who, like, is someone from your life. Maybe your mother or your father or... My creator. Sure, Dominic. And they're explaining to you over a long period of time uh, whatever subject you're studying. Right? And so it feels like you're in that classroom for, like, years and years and years. Like, 50 years, 100 years. My eyes are just bulging out further and further. <laughs> <laughs> Can't sleep. <laughs> right. Uh, and at the end, you have, like, mastery of whatever the skill is that you decided to take. Okay. You wake back up. Can we find out about our questions, though? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh... I will get to each and every one of you separately at some You're time like, in the future. Wow, those are fucked up questions. Yeah, I'm like, nah, nah, nah. we'll talk about it. Later. But yes, you get the answers to your questions. I know everything. Well, you know some things. A lot of some things. Uh, I think we're going to probably cut it out. 
Yeah, that's a good time to cut it so that we don't react the way we wouldn't after we get the knowledge. Sure. Or we could go kill this guy. Us? Yeah. The guy who said, don't Oz, worry about Oz old man makes Masi, old man Masi look like a, <laughs> the flicker of a match in a dark room. And old man Masi is not to be fucked with by our mortal kid. with all the minis we got today in the Super Brawl then? You, you want to? <laughs> you serious? <laughs> no, I don't want to fight a Clockwork now. dragon. Or a clockwork dragon. I've got a... Another two days off this week, so I will try to get that going. Oh, do we level at the end of this too? No. Yeah. Wait, this is the library. library. Yeah, you guys are done with the library. That's we're it. Level? This is the library. Oh my god, we're gonna mm -hmm. level. So we level now? Sure. We yeah. can level he's now. he's pretty not? much closing us out. That was a a no fight at the end. No big boss. <laughs> I had a big we, boss. We docked our way past. Yeah, your ass kicked. We did. But <laughs> yeah, I had a big boss. <laughs> We are going to have to get things to potentially give to old man Masi. Because Maybe. he knows more or less what's down here. Maybe. And so he and he just guards it and he never has, has been. anybody ever come back out? That's the question. Really. True. I, I mean, I guess we could be a thousand years in our future now. <laughs> Well, well, and right, right, right at the heat death of the universe when the fucking dreamer comes back. <laughs> yeah, you guys are like, like, oh, Yule's here. Great. You woke up yesterday. I fucking yeah, remember you job guys. <laughs> oh, Kick you down the road with my ass. <laughs> that would be the best. It's just you, me, and the apocalypse. <laughs> well, if we're going to level up, we're going to level up right now. Yep. What question do you want to answer, Brian? How do we keep these uh, elder gods at bay? Oh, sure. Out of our world. Right. I'm tired of these fuckers. Oh, check <laughs> it out. If it if you have initiative, advantage of initiative, it tells you. It, it tells, tells you. you. Yeah, it's like, hey, you're good at this. Yep. Yeah, I got advantage on my initiative from the Sentinel seal shield. Oh, that's another thing I could have put in there. That's cool. Yeah. I keep yeah. thinking of these things you after. Guys have like so magic much items. magic stuff. Is it managed well, levels? I have four, just where you I think. do it? Yep. Just a level up. Oh, oh no, you have to we're level own. seven now? <sighs> yeah. Level seven. Oh. Now. So level seven. I get nothing. <laughs> I get fairly <laughs> instinct. <laughs> you get more hit points? Well, yeah, everyone gets hit points. Oh, hey, I get another invocation. Hmm. I think this is a <laughs> spell level. Oh, well, this is helpful. Maybe I'll take that book of ancient secrets now. It would make sense if he gave it to me. I guess I'll remove yeah. the horn of Valhalla. <clears throat> yep, it's gone. Should I remove my staff? I thought you were going to switch yes. them. <laughs> You'd hate them. <laughs> if Brian switched the horn, that would have been epic. You thought about it. I definitely switched thought about it. Switching Obi-Wan Yeah. I don't think he would have bought it, though. It was, no. he was, it was a pretty you. good replica. It was. It was an exact replica. Almost. It's not magic. And, but there was... Yeah, that's not magic. There was definitely a moment where I was like, like, I'm going to fly up to old man Mossy. If he clubs me out of the sky, I mean, how much more could I earn it than right. <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to do that? Yeah, I have the Ring of Spells storing, which I'm basically just dumping magic into so that I can use it for you guys. The Rod of Security, which is basically a get-out-of-jail card, but we return where we are. And the uh, Sentinel Shield. Fourth level spells. Yep, that's what I get. So. Oh, fourth level spells are awesome. That's cool. I also got uh, Flash of Genius. Gain the ability to come up with solutions under pressure when you or another creature within 30 feet makes a ability check or saving throw. You can use your reaction to add your intelligence modifier to the roll. That's awesome. You can use this it's number. The artificer thing? Yep. You're on the official artificer, right? Yes. So I can't be surprised either if I rage. As long as you rage the first thing and like you're like, okay, whatever, I do it. Yeah. The issue is you have to be raging, <laughs> which means you're already expecting a fight. No. No. Hmm? In yeah. order to not be surprised, he just has to rage. It has to be the first thing he does in his turn. He has to be like, okay, I'm not going to be surprised in my turn. Bonus action, rage. And then I do my stuff. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Yep. That's how that That's works? That's the way it works, yeah. Really? You yep. have advantage of an initiative roll, so, which is going to help out a lot, because I need to go first. Mm -hmm. Well, you need it's to better. stop getting your ass beat in the first round. <laughs> exactly, that's what that is. <laughs> that's been uh, so bad for you. 
We haven't had like too many combats lately, though. When do I get my? Oh, Feels like ages since we've had like a. <clears throat> a you true guys combat. Have to go back through either Cattle Bleepus Land or the Hungry, and Abner can't really help you. He's hurting. Or old man Mossy. We could take. Dude. No. Come on. No. He just summons nine Eric's. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. He opens his mouth. Oh, no. Like Eric's coming Eric. out of the swamp. Sees his soul. <laughs> so. <laughs> Spits Eric's him out like, like green mile. Just yeah. like flies. <laughs> he just like barfs Eric's onto the landscape. <laughs> God. How do you have a 22 AC? Holy shit. Because I'm awesome. I'm a tank, dude. Yeah. That's his thing. I got a... 18, but then part of my class just gives me an extra AC mm. for 19, and then I give it plus one armor every day mm. as my special ability. And you got a shield. And I have a shield. And I can cast shield, so I could get 24. Mm -mm. Shield's plus five. I could cast shield of faith. Yep, that's 24. Yep. Yeah, dude, you're impossible to hit. Not impossible, as we've seen. Crit, uh, crit, crit. <laughs> that's true. Now I'm crit bait. Yeah. Well, now I can start doing um, uh, the great, great Weapons Master or whatever a lot more because I'll still have a plus three when I swing. So You have advantage. I just do it. When I ever play with advantage, I just do it. It's like I'm always doing it. <sighs> yeah. That helped out getting that little bit extra. I went from full attunement slots to one attunement sl one attuned item. Oh man. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't have any uh I don't have any items, guys. <laughs> Have a big Except old for the half put half and plain and armor. That's yeah. it. Yeah, hot tits. You got a hammer weapon that you wear. It's a returning weapon. You can throw it. Yeah. <laughs> I got plain armor. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> half plate. Yeah. Not even full plate. You can't wear full plate. Probably not. It's okay. heavy armor. You don't want it because the uh, barbarians, when they wear heavy armor, they can't get any of their rage benefits. Uh, so it's why the barbarian fighter mix just doesn't work. Mm, it didn't work for you. It just doesn't work that well. Because a lot of the good things a fighter gets, like heavy armor. You just don't wear heavy armor. You just take. Uh, you just can't wear heavy armor. You just take enough uh, points in it to get the. Uh, Extra uh, action surge. Or... You could. I mean, you could go barbarian. You just have to wear medium armor, like fighter barbarian, and then you just. Uh... Why would you wear armor? Why? His armor's his AC is better now than it would be without. That's why. Yeah, but if you're reckless and they're reckless, if you're always reckless. If you put all your still points, still can help every once in a while. If you put, all damage is still better than nothing. I guess. If you put all your points in Dex and Constitution, you can have a twenty AC with no armor. You have to have a twenty. If you use a shield, but most barbarians mm -hmm. don't use a shield, then you have to use two hands to swing your big weapons. Mm-hmm. I've heard tell of dex barbs, but I've never seen them. Dex barbs don't work either. The only thing they're good for is the reckless attack, because everything you do is strength based. So even your extra damage has to be strength damage. Yeah, yeah, if you, I want to use a barbarian rogue. Probably, but the sneak attack is only once a turn. It probably uh, isn't worth it. If it has to be a finesse weapon, doesn't it? Yes. If you're the wolf barbarian, don't you get advantage? Mm -hmm. So maybe that's how you could do it if you take it. Advantage as long as you're within five feet of one of your dudes. Yeah. Basically, so they really I guess, made it so barbarians are like a strength based character. I guess mm -hmm. never mind, because if you're next to somebody who also is hitting at melee, then you would 
also get sneak attack no matter what. So it would matter. Advantage would be reckless. That's true. It's yeah, reckless. You just reckless. Yeah. Because the main benefit of being barbarian for any other of those is that reckless attack. Mm-hmm. You get an advantage on all attacks. Mm-hmm. That's why a fighter would want to dip into it. But you could still do a strength fighter, dip into it, and just not wear heavy armor. Mm-hmm. So action surge, reckless attacks. Champion fighters would be good for it. Crit on a 19 or 20. Yep. Your thing was you tried to go two-hand, two weapons instead of one big weapon. Yeah. That didn't work out. Dual wielding's hard. Dual wielding just never works out better than uh, two-handers. All right, I got my spells prepared. I'm trying to figure out my spells now that you're back. I'm like, eh, should I take Lesser Restoration? I mean, it's it's been very helpful, but I have it prepared. I got some pretty good stuff. I took Remove Curse. That didn't work out very well. Remove Curse? Yeah. So now I got Divination, because it's a ritual. I mean, I still only have second level spells, so... I can talk to the gods. Which ones? A god or a god servant. It doesn't actually say. Okay. You can talk to Morgan, probably. I'd hope that it's him and not these guys. I also got Death Ward. Okay. But I didn't prepare it. Death Ward's... Oh, that's so (laughs) sad. I was going to say, Death Ward's good. (laughs) They're all good. Yeah. Fabricate is really good. I only have one fourth slot, that's the thing. Mm. So if I just sack my fourth slot every day for Death War, it's like randomly get someone, maybe they're the one that goes to zero, maybe not. <clears throat> no, what do you mean someone? I'm like Death War. Death War. <laughs> Death War. <Lord. laughs> and then they knock him out or something. Okay. Well, then, then you, you can, can do him. Cure Wounds, yeah. Right. You can do Cure Wounds too. Can't do... Uh... Healing word, though. That was my main thing that I was... Oh, man, I can't get that. I got that. Found out some other artificers get that. Should we do roses and thorns? Which ones? Yeah, we can do roses uh, I and forget, thorns. I forget, but... Alchemist one? I think it's alchemist, yeah. Do you like, guys got football? Yeah, this last week of uh, regular season, yo. Last week. Oh, so you gotta run. If I'm always... If I'm late to the game, I just turn on K-Fan. Yeah. I, I, I like listening to it. Okay. Not the worst. Paul, Paul, and that, Paul Allen's awesome to listen to. All right. But we can do Roses and Thorns. Go. Mm-mm, you. I always go first. Do you always go first? Well, lately I have been. I can go first if you want. Yeah, let's Alex, go. Alex, go yeah. first. Okay. Uh, I'll say my Thorn is it seems like every single game we end on a place where it's like, The end of the world is happening. You are all going to die. And then when we start playing, it's actually like, oh, this happened, and now everyone's okay. (laughs) Yeah. Sure. So it it kind of feels like cliffhangers, like whenever you uh, watch a movie and you're like, I want to do the next thing. (laughs) And then you spend like all week, or in this case, two weeks planning for what you're going to do. Sure. And then it's like, oh, none of that really matters. So. Okay. I mean, I think for viewers, it would be interesting to be like, oh, what's going to happen next? Keep them coming back for more. But, uh, I mean, no offense, guys, but I don't really care about what the viewers think. Yeah. So, you, Ooh, so you it's a bad word. <laughs> so <laughs> so you're, you're talking to like fluidity, right? Yeah. There's, it's, it's weird when you end and you're like, oh, this is going to happen and everyone's going to die. You know, the week before, I thought your barbarian was gone. It's like, oh, yeah, you should have a new character because you're probably going to need it. Elio died. Elio did die, but that was your choice. So. Yeah, because I wasn't going to let this little freak gnome so jam. So you're saying that I should kill more general. people. No, I was, I, was, I, was, I was saying more so the, uh, I'm here. the <laughs> end of the game ending in a uh, think about what you're going to do. Okay, no, never mind. Everything you thought about, we're going to do this. You know what okay. I mean? Okay, all right. Uh, I would say that'd have to be my thorn if I had to pick one. Uh, the rose, I would say it was uh, it was nice to get past someone without uh, having a fight. You're welcome. <laughs> well, he had a fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he chose to have a fight. Same as your Elio dying. <laughs> True. 
Yeah, that 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 thing was way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I was not going to even. <laughs> you were like, that, yeah. I could tell by your face. You're like, forty feet. Yeah, yeah, that's way too big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here you fine. go. <laughs> yeah, take the horn. Take the horn. <laughs> Going Please, left or right? Go, go ahead, go Rose. Ahead. Okay, roses and thorns. Um, I think the biggest. Rose is <laughs> getting to chill with Oz and all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. Um, it was kind of a, a, a neat surprise to find that the library was his. It's his domain. Yeah, it was neat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. What are you neat? talking about? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think it's a good thing. Um, I think it's a good also, the dust buster of flying is super awesome. <laughs> dust buster of flying. The Dyson dust buster. So th those things were both great. I um, felt like there was pretty good banter. The things were crafted fairly well. Escape from that initial tower. Yeah, I think, you know, lots of good things. No thorn? Thorn, what was thorn? There was something I was trying, I was holding on to kind of in the middle because I wanted to do something, but there was never an opportunity, but I don't remember what Fast it was. Fast travel too much? Maybe that sounds like a thorn. Yeah, that's one of them. that's always one of my things. Like Basically. when you have to arbitrarily say we're not going to do anything of consequence. We're it's, not like, gonna it's like what? Come on, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. you're not going yeah. to. I, it's like I'm. I'm going to fly in circles. <laughs> Does everyone want to hear about it? <laughs> For the rest uh, of the and game. So like I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. But that is always. I don't remember what the thing that I was going to do during that downtime. But that was probably mm. it. And, go, and I totally understand why we avoid those thorns. <laughs> <laughs> Josh. Me? You. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, Rose. Uh, I think it's great that you guys put together a massive plan to switch out the horn, and then it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Like, that was awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's just like, it, quick, it take, take the horn, take the horn. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Though I think that's the first time we've ever done a plan like that and actually kind like, of completed like the we, plan. We did it. It was yeah, unusual. It works. I thought we, we were, I thought it, our efforts. Yeah, we were like, all right, let's try really hard, and then we're gonna steal it right in front of him, and he's gonna make the perception save, and then it was all gonna fall apart. But instead, it happened. You still have that replica horn, and I still have that replica <laughs> horn. Let's just just give awesome. it to him. Just give it back like to him. Like, yeah. it'll Wait, work it's in Eric thirty days. Day. Go. <laughs> just tell him it'll work in like some arbitrary <laughs> number of days. In ten years. <laughs> He'll count down until then. <laughs> 1,411 days. God, I lost track. I rage. Yeah, right. <laughs> I rage. <laughs> what was your thorn? Um, thorn. Um, I don't know. Circle back to you? Yeah, I'm not sure. All right. All right. Roses. Hmm. Let's start with thorns. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what? He's up. <laughs> what? I think my thorn is going to be two different thorns. Jesus. Hmm. One is Maggie Nancy. I want to hit something. Hmm. I want to kill something. We you always wanna, have that word. Thing. He liked the game, and then you were always like, 
But there was too much role play. I wanted the fighting. I like the role play, but I want to hit something. Mm-hmm. I got some new spells and abilities. Like, yeah, let's do it. Let's fuck things up. So, I mean, that's why we're here, right? Kick the door down. Kill some creatures. <laughs> that's what we do. What's, right. what's your shirt I don't have a shirt. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, my other thorn is we're still, as a group, <clears throat> Just lost. <laughs> We're so lost. I think, but that should be your ropes because today kind of brought everything together, I think. Like what? We're getting f- knowledge of everything. We just don't know it yet. Like, next week, everything's going to I come feel together. like we're getting fucked by a god. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my thought. <laughs> I'm helping you. Yeah, but, I mean... That's the campaign. <laughs> That's the campaign that Josh has bestowed upon us, is getting fucked by gods. <laughs> and they're not actually gods. And the world is going to end, and you can't stop it. Yes, we can. That's why we're here. We're heroes, damn it. Yeah, that's not the way this game's going to go. <laughs> that's yeah, not... You're fighting the tide or the heat death of the universe. <clears throat> yeah, the game is not like we can save the world we're heroes. The game is like what happens when being heroes isn't enough. Like, what do you do when your world dies? I think you die when your world dies. Maybe. Journey before destination. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, but like there's <laughs> elder gods will walk this planet. Hmm. No, I, I'm, my question is how to keep them away. I know. Yes. I have to think of a suitable answer for you. <laughs> <laughs> I want my answer by <laughs> next Sunday. Uh, Okay. <laughs> also wanted to know the cure for cancer. <laughs> right? I'm like, you gotta put I don't want to in fall way. into that um, nothing matters mindset. Like, I mean, things ah, do all matter. Doomed anyways, let's just give up, guys. Things do matter, right? Like, even though there's, it's kind of like, you ever get that moment when you start, who's had a car accident? I had one about a month ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Or like a really bad accident, like a bike accident, or you know what I'm saying? Keep raising your hand. Or a rollerblade accident. Yeah. Right? Uh, I've had <laughs> all of those. <laughs> yeah, right? You know how sometimes there's that moment right before the bad accident actually happens where things kind of slow down for a second? Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, fuck, like, this is going to be bad. But you kind of have a second. You're like, okay, I can, like, tuck my shoulder in or try to get my head out of the way or, like, put an arm out. Like, you can do something to kind of mitigate the damage you know what i'm saying and just be like bye arm it was nice better than my head like that's kind of what you guys are doing there's an accident happening it's already happening bad shit is gonna happen but who does it happen to how bad is it and whether or not it hits you here (laughs) or here is kind of like what you guys are doing the accident already started there's no unaccidenting We'll just have to take them out when they get here. Or there is there is a way that you could keep any of them from getting here. It's just that the price would be exorbitantly high. Like you would have to wipe out here. all sentient <laughs> life on the face of the planet that they wouldn't want to come anymore. Maybe not all. Well, then there would be an interest for them. Maybe just a few cities here or there. We're pretty good at that, right? Probably the, you probably have to wipe out the balance of sentient life on the planet to make it not appealing. Make so it so roses. Within... <laughs> <laughs> so that will be the information you get, and you'll be like, <clears throat> fuck. <laughs> right, that face is so good. <laughs> I hate you. A horror face. <laughs> roses. Maybe it was that moment when Brian said Temujin was a real douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate him, I think is what he said. <laughs> he hated his own character so much he knew it. No, that's not my rose. That was pretty funny, though. I'm going to say my rose is Tamat again. I like <laughs> Tamat's character. He is the comedic relief. All your mom jokes. <laughs> some of them were good. Some your of them mom. Weren't. Let's just send them to your mom. I'm like, oh man. Like, I think I really like your character. You definitely get into character. Sometimes you say the weirdest things. Well, that's me. 
I'm playing an eye campaign through and through. There you go. It was, it was pretty <laughs> funny, and I appreciate that. Make a show, call it uh, Tomat Says the Strangest Thing. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. There could be a whole show. Let's take my lot. cock at the venture. <laughs> <laughs> like, <Yeah>. what? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> so, that's my rose. Mm. All right. Well, that's cool, dude. Thanks for liking my character. But, let's see. So, I'm going to start with a, uh, my thorn, which is Josh said shaft a couple times and no one made a joke. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah, no one made a joke. It's when we were going down the elevator. Oh, yeah. And blah, blah, you said shaft, shaft a couple times. And I, I was, was like, thinking I don't know. I'm, I'm like thinking. Literally, the ball was dropping. To say. Right. So. Like, I don't have anything good to say about that. So missed opportunities, <laughs> right? I think it sure. was kind of like you just lost your horn. You just yeah. lost. Uh, I didn't yeah. care about the cape. So, oh, yeah, I suppose the cape you didn't care about. The cape would only hurt him. So, yeah, I guess I just I didn't get to use Eric's one last time. That's my rule. Oh, Right, I just really wanted to use that. I love that. I can't wait to get that item in a future campaign. Please, Ryan, give that item. <laughs> yeah, right. right. There's a reason you lost. <laughs> that was, was awesome. Like, wait a second, this thing is way too good. Oh, the DM, so fun give to use. The DM, DM take, take it away. away. Right, yeah. Oh, that was so fun to use. I mean, I took away all the magic items you guys got. Yeah, we got none of them left. <laughs> no, but um, it's like candle gone, horn gone. Staff, Staff gone, mm-hmm. sword gone, whatever it was, yeah. That's that's okay. Um, Character gone. <laughs> sure, right? But uh, Rose, I had everything I liked about this. I got to hit stuff. Right. Yeah, hit stuff. I had mm-hmm. a great I, I wanted to kind of jump session. in and like, give you a couple. Just to <laughs> give you a couple. <laughs> <laughs> when, when he's down, you go stomp on his kidneys. <laughs> Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> I stabilize right. him. Fuck you, fuck you. I stabilize him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. It had everything I liked. I really liked this game, and especially the end. Uh, I'm going to counter your thorn, because I like. we may have been lost, but I think now we're not the only ones in the know about everything, and that has been what I've been waiting for. Right. And I'm going to get the knowledge that I need. Like, I want. I am excited to hear about yours. Yeah, like, if you tell it. <laughs> you going to hide it for 20 sessions? No, I'm not going to hide anything. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how many we're on in this one? 19. No. 19? Really? Jeez. Oof. No. It doesn't even seem like that. Are you sure? No, we're on 16. Fast. It does 16. seem fast. Yep. December 19, the, 19 was the, the last time. But the last 29. campaign w- went for like all over almost, two, almost two years. A long time. Mm-hmm. So that's oh, maybe why it feels God. this... Well, the 68 sessions? Where were we sessions? in 20 sessions last mm-hmm. campaign? Does anybody remember? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I could, we shadow fell it. Stabbing sure you goblins, but probably. Shadow fell. <sighs> First time Stop shadow giving fell. me plot hooks. <laughs> uh, well, that was session two. <laughs> was it? That was session <laughs> I don't know. It was, really that was definitely session two. That was great. We do that like to like kill like the uh, plot hooks. So much. I like the Python. Actually, that was my yeah. Favorite. yeah. That's probably one of my favorite things about this game is where you gave us these blank scrolls and maps that we've held on to for probably... The whole time. So long. The whole so time. long. How's it feel? So fucking long. I was How's like, it feel? <laughs> and then you actually had stuff written. That's the funnier part. Well, I didn't know. I did have stuff written down somewhere, but I was just mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm going to write it all out. And then when they ask about it, I'll know what it is. Because usually if I write a thing down, I remember it pretty well. If <laughs> you remember so, four months later? No, I don't remember what the fuck I ever said. <laughs> that was pretty funny to me. I know. Kind of like the letters. Prepared. From some guy to a couple different people, but they're all uh, seekers, and they're talking. It's kind of talking about how like the uh, keeper, the peacekeepers, kind of fuck things up by opening that portal, and how the wardens are gone and they don't want them to come back. And that's what it is, more or less. Maybe we go find that too. I, I was having trouble hearing while you were reading those. <laughs> it's like, damn it, I can't hear that well. I was so upset. <laughs> when you guys didn't ever look at him, I was like, fuck it, man. I'll have to go back and listen again. See, that's the weird thing, is I thought that your character, when they got the the monocle, they are like, let's look at this now. Kind of like how you did, where you're oh. like, let's look at this. No. It's blank. No one did. That. You got the monocle and you were like, sweet. 
And then just started doing other shit, and I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. I never thought like, about it. Huh. It reminds me of that secret note that you wrote us that one time. Remember the note in that one campaign? Mm. In the Crowley campaign? Like, you read down the left, and it said a thing? Yeah, but I, I made sure you didn't know it was a secret in it until it was time. That was the one I waited on purpose. Yeah, and that was genius. This one I didn't wait on purpose. It went too long. No, this one was our ungenious not working. And right. <laughs> honestly, I wouldn't even have known to do that. I think Josh told me something. I did. I was uh, like, look at the fucking map. <laughs> <laughs> so I told you guys this is my parting gift as Oren when I mm. left. And you still didn't do it. <laughs> nope. So we had to get it done. And at this point, I don't even know if it really mattered as much. Like... No. All the mystery, all the intrigue, and all whatever was there was kind of to the wayside of what we're dealing with. I mean, now. it was, uh, yeah, it's over. Mm -hmm. So, before we part ways for the day, um, do a few more shout outs. We should um, come up with some ideas for the bacon points because I can make my own. Um, Redeemable bacon awards. Really? <laughs> yeah. So you, you could can like make bacon awards. <laughs> you could redeem them for different like in-game things. Hmm. Oh. I could just make them up, like <laughs> re-roll bullshit. Whoa. Re-roll bullshit, or change some name, or make take the away next magic item name. <laughs> I mean, do we get anything if people use bacon points? To buy stuff. No, could they, could the they buy us inspiration with bacon points? Mm. Mm. Well, that'd be nice. Could they buy inspiration for bacon? Inspir bacon points. I mean, you're the GM, so that would have to be your call. But could they spend like a thousand bacon and buy someone an inspiration? How about 50 mm. bacon? 50 <laughs> bacon? There'd be inspiration everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Every roll. I pay 50 bacon, give him inspiration. I pay 50 bacon, give him inspiration. I pay 50 bacon, give him inspiration. I'm like, oh, no. Because I was the only thinking problem about it, is, that'd be kind of cool. The only problem is, is that we're on a delay. Mm -hmm. Pretty bad delay. Well, that's why an inspiration would be for future use, right? Okay. Yeah, they're like, it's not the current roll that you're fucking up. Sure. Yeah. They're just like, I'm like, another roll, you need Because I was thinking of that, too. If you're trying to interact live right now, we're on like a 20, 30, maybe a minute delay. I don't know. However long Twitch delays it for whoever it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it would be kind of fun to have some redeemable rewards for people that aren't just um, highlight your message or a sub emote. I like to do fun things like Oz brain rapes somebody. No, no, that's not fun. <laughs> 500 bacon. Yeah. <laughs> Go big. <laughs> make it 10 bacon. Make it 10 bacon. Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. And chat, if you have ideas about redeeming bacon rewards... That's a thought as well. So throw them out there if you have any ideas. I was thinking inspiration's a good one. I mm -hmm. could maybe come up with a good number for an sure. inspiration. Sure, why not? Pokedy has 1.1k bacon in watching a session, so hmm. that would be like an entire game's worth of bacon, right? Yeah. So maybe 1,000 is a little too much for an inspiration. I would say it actually might be not enough because if you have... How many people, 15, 20 people watching? That's 15, 20 inspirations. But if you have other things to buy. Too. That's true. Oh, dude, I have 1.4K right now. 1.4? Yeah. Okay. You could buy your own inspiration. Ooh, good idea. You don't get a spin. <laughs> 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 That's a great idea. I need an inspiration now. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, bacon. <laughs> I mean, it's like Popeye, right? <laughs> yeah. Da -da 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 so that's one of my uh, questions to the chat. If you have ideas throughout the week, throw them out there next week. Let us know. I'll come up with some of my own ideas. Um, ideas for next campaign. We already have our ideas for next campaign. Yeah, but oh. I want chat's input a little bit, too. Oh, yeah. True. We're so, not going to do the rogue campaign, are we? I thought that's what you guys planned. Oh, really? I think I, we were going to, but then I don't know. I feel like that started falling apart a little bit. I had a plan. I don't okay. know if you guys are interested in uh, a warlock. Campaign after you do the small short one. So do we have all the same patron? Or all the same patron. I was thinking Feywild. Okay, but we can be like different kinds. Like you be Tomla. Yeah, but this or be something you wanted or... to run in the yeah. interim. Yeah, I would be running it in the interim. Uh, I was thinking uh, of using your long rest rules. 
so that we can ease into it with a class that does a lot on a short rest. So it's kind of like getting a pacing down for your longer campaign afterwards. All warlocks, huh? So like that would warlocks. probably destroy the all rogue campaign that you guys are planning to throw at me. Yep. I mean, if you're not, it's not a thing that you want to do. I don't know if we should make you do it. I don't really care. My only concern with that is that yours is looking like it's planning to be a long-term campaign. Right. I want and to doing plan a, a longer term. Doing campaign. a gimmick is great for short term. It's game really it's good for twenty games, right? You can do twenty games mm-hmm. on a gimmick. Dude uh s- small butt rock solid just said one K bake into grand a wish spell. Uh oh. <laughs> I would be like ten K. Like, yeah, or twenty. Ten K would maybe work or twenty K, but yeah, not one K. Uh oh. And who one K is like a wish a game. I would say a good thing would be uh roll a magic weapon on the table. Because you can get good or bad. Some kind of like divine intervention. You find a thing. You find a thing. You, you trip over woods. a you trip over some a scroll of <laughs> right. butt widening. <laughs> <laughs> How does this but, shit happen in your head? But, <laughs> and then what does it does? How the fuck do you let it out of your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same reason why I said I stick my cock at the future. I, I, see, don't, I don't understand it, what the fuck. They're just guys. words that come out of mouths. It, there's no. Those are normal stop words. Stop the that brain come out along the way by. <laughs> I say those words all the time, just not in that sequence. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Oh. So, for my campaign, I'm playing a city campaign. <laughs> So if you guys have any ideas oh of something God. that would interest you, they all wanted to do all rogues, but you are right. That's a gimmick kind of thing. It mm-hmm. might not be a good long-term idea. It would be interesting because you'd have to go about your um, tasks a lot differently yeah. than kick the door in. It would be like hard mode. It would be acknowledging that we're... Squishy. You know, we're... Uh, experienced players and we're gonna do it the hard way which is kind of fun i mean if you want a hard mode i can just run i think it's the yogmoth's portal one of them is like the dungeon that just starts killing people it's one of the ones they released two years ago and it's just modules that's brutally bad and it's brutally bad so if you want that I that, could run that, that. Would be a you could just have like five characters yeah, so but we're all clerics <laughs> <laughs> If we, you want hard mode. We creep through slowly, <laughs> healing each other. But I've never done a city campaign, so I kind of want to try it. It might be So what do you guys want to play? Good I don't mind game. doing the rogue. I, I kind of like the rogue idea. You if it was done right. Rogue. If, like, like how I envision it is there's one overarching thing. Kind of like you did with Magnus Monroe, right? But there's several different small stories. Kind of like a Sin City kind of thing. I don't know. Vignettes. Yeah. The main thing I'm focusing it on is the point before Ryan's campaign because I don't know how long you're wanting to stretch this one out, but I don't it know. didn't end today. That he is true. He rolled a dice for it. Mm-hmm. It's true. Odds or evens? What? <laughs> well, I mean, it was just like, how does it happen? Do tentacles come pouring out of the statue that's left once it's breached, and does you like enter the world? more fully and like fuck things up worse which may or may not have killed Mm -hmm. you or do the weird like fucked up uh warden zombies get out of the hole in the wall that you made and into the cattle bleepus territory before the place teleports away like something bad happened you guys just don't know what it is yet nothing happened guys (laughs) bad happened Sure Oz did. confirmed it. That's why Oz <laughs> laughed when he said that. He was like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> we definitely won, right? So we're coming up with ideas for campaigns in the future. Um, mm-hmm. Should be good for all Sundays for me up until, what's right after the 24th? Mm-hmm. I'm not good all January Sundays. January 24th? 25th. It's like that's, like, that's <laughs> like three weeks, dude. That's a yeah, Friday. But you're so going like to miss 27th. out the one just before your birthday. Yep. So the Because 12th? you have arbitrary life shit. <laughs> yep. So you're going to miss one, which will have to plan something for three guys instead, which is fine. Let's mm-hmm. do the four horsemen. 
But there's only three people. There would only be three people that day. We're trying yeah, to save the fourth. Trying to save the fourth? Oh, hold on a second. So I'll be gone like the 20s. Wait a minute, seven. wait a minute. I might not be gone on the weekend. Hey, there you go. I have a calendar in here. January 7th, 8th, and 9th is in the middle of the week. Was that the truth? Are you good, Matt, for this next month? Um, yeah. 7th, 8th, and 9th is in the middle of the week? It should be. I don't... I go week to week right now, dude. So January 26th, I'll probably cancel because mm -hmm. I have surgery mm -hmm. that Friday. So probably be won't fine. be feeling to sit down for four hours. Oh, you'll be all right. You'll feel better. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. 7th, 8th, and 9th is actually a weekend. My birthday is a Saturday. There you go. I'm out of here. I'm out 7th, 8th, and 9th, but I'm just taking off work then. And the weekends, I'll be around. Oh, well, there you go. Then you're not gone at all. No, I'm not gone. So let's just plan on one day next month we're gone. Yep, 26th. 26th. Uh, that actually works out well for me because my family would want me to come up north sometime in the next month. And that is the Sunday just before my sister's birthday. So that works out well. Okay. So I'll do some shout outs and then we will take off. I think Wait, there's a kickoff getting, already. That's when you're getting ass hacked. Surgery. Right. Yes. Ass hacked. <laughs> Scroll of butt wag. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> 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 Why do I invite you to my house? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> knows. <laughs> Scroll of butt wagging. I love it. <laughs> Scroll of butt wagging. You don't even need to open the scroll. Oh. You just shove directly in. <laughs> right? <laughs> Anyway, insert for knowledge. It's a, it's a code. <laughs> Practical. Thank you for your follow. For Gary. Good. Chaotic what? Grandpa. <laughs> Tony Lord. <laughs> True Pebs. Oh, God. <laughs> hey there, mate. He's His just trying sky. to close that as fast as he can. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read the names next week. <laughs> and a cup of Joe. Oh, oh, love shit. it. Thank you all for your follows. We'll see you here next Sunday, same time, 7.30. Um, that's it for me. You guys no got pants anything? required. No pants. <laughs> same bad time, same bad channel. Thank you all. See you. Peace.